Welcome back, everybody. This is another little extra bonus thing that we're doing today. Uh, it's going to be me, Blastix, again. And this time I'm joined by... Uh, Actually, how do you want to go by? Um, You can call me Nito. Nice. Nito. This, <laughs> this is Nito, my buddy. Uh, we actually talked about him on the last episode of the podcast. Um, I'm glad to have him here. We'll see if we get him on an actual podcast eventually. Um, but when we were talking about what kind of stuff we would uh, want to talk about and go back and forth on, um, I think we settled on, for now at least, Zoolger. Uh, yeah. So as you can tell from the title of the video, we're going to be talking about Zoolger today. Uh, it's not going to be really a super in-depth conversation. Uh, we're going to try, but we're basically going to be hitting some highlights and uh, what we like about this season, uh, why we think people should watch this season. Um, and, you know, just the kind of connections we have with it, connections that we have with this uh, season. Um, so yeah, real quick, if you want, Dave, uh, Nito, you want to talk about, um, your background or what your experience was with Sentai and stuff like that? All right. Well, um, well, I've obviously I've been a Power Ranger fan first before I, I was introduced to Sentai. Um, I grew up on the Power Rangers. I watched them up to, uh, well, you could say religiously, I watched them up. I call it the Zordon arc, where it goes up to space and Zordon ends Yeah. Uh, after space. Mm -hmm. And I watched that pretty much all the way through. And then after that, I was just sprinkled in some other stuff. Mystic Force was another one I watched. Uh, and then I know about the other ones, but uh, didn't watch like whole seasons um, of Power Rangers, but uh, Zeoldra happens to be my first Super Sentai I watched completely all the way through. Yeah, now that's not to say you didn't see anything before. I believe you saw the Gokaiger Gosager movie, the Versus movie. Oh, yes, I have seen that too. You, yeah. you saw that before this. Yes, and I saw that before this. And I think I also showed you the Kyoyuger versus Gobusters mm -hmm. movie where it's like all the dinosaur Sentai. Mm hmm. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I have seen that. But this was the first actual full Sentai you had seen from from start to finish. I don't remember. You didn't watch this live, right? No, I didn't watch this live. I only The first live one I actually watched was Zenkaiger, which is the 45th season. Nice. Okay. So five years later. Yes. Uh, so yeah, uh, Zuoger, the 40th uh, Super Sentai series. Um, and it's called, officially the whole name is Dobutu Sentai Zuoger which translates to Animal Sentai Zuoger. So this season uh, had to deal a lot with animals and uh, champions, Zuoger, um, mm. which we'll see. That's what they are, what they represent, what they are. Um, I am dumb and I didn't get a uh, screenshot of the title screen, but I'll have that on the thumbnail so people know. But I like this, uh, the 40th Sentai series. Mm -hmm. uh, when the show starts, we get introduced to Yamato, um, and I'm gonna say it right now: he's probably my favorite red uh, that I've seen. Yeah, he's he's definitely up there. Um, it's hard sometimes to categorize like Sentai and stuff because you love each season for different reasons. Yeah, but Yamato definitely sticks out above a lot of the the reds, the leaders. Uh, and Sentai, and he's just an overall good guy. Uh, yeah, course. you can feel his sincerity every time he's on screen. Yes, um, and that might, that might be due to the actor, too, and how he's written. But yeah. yeah, he just feels like a genuinely, like, I mean, he's a zoologist. He loves life. So, like, he just just loves everything. You just feel it from him. Yeah, he and, and that that great big smile he has he he looks like he genuinely cares about life and people and all that um mm -hmm. and i don't mean to say all that like i'm dismissing it you know what i mean yeah i know what you mean um so yeah we we see this is the the, the whole thing that starts everything is the link cube i think it's the called. link cube yeah or something like that yeah uh and he gets teleported to uh zooland which is basically earth but like an alternate earth where it's just animal people. Mm -hmm. um, I like so, mm -hmm. oh, oh, sorry. I like to think of it like it's a pocket dimension in our, I guess you could say. Yeah. Yeah. And it lives independently yeah. from us and we're maybe a pocket dimension for them. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it was one I, I felt like, but uh, I guess we can talk about that later on. At the end. 
uh, I guess I mean it kind of happens at the end. Uh, the the story of uh, the Zooland and how it was created. It was pretty much started off on Earth, and then oh yeah, yeah, we were it was connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was connected, and then they branched off mm-hmm. to make their own uh, civilization. <clears throat> um, so when we get to Zooland, we get introduced to these particularly detailed um <laughs> zooman so i wonder and they're colored color hooded so i wonder who they are um but here we <laughs> see Sela, leo tusk and amu uh so we see blue yellow green white and these are going to be our rangers for the season um so they started as the guardians right they're guardians of the link cube yeah they guard the link cube uh, and that from people in and out i'm i'm guessing that cube is supposed to be what connects our world with Zooland. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to keep saying our world, even though I know this is a fictional yeah. version of Earth. our world. Earth, but, Earth I yeah. guess you could say. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, and it's it's really cool. Like here you can see Yamato reacting to it. And basically, yeah. Zooland is the same as us, but it looks, it has a bunch of cubes everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, don't ask me why I th- they have cubes everywhere, because my answer is going to be Minecraft was really popular. Yes, and... that's what I was thinking. Also, Minecraft was is a big deal. Kind of, kind of looks right there if you see the torches right yeah. there. Kind of looks like Minecraft torches yep. and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Definitely, uh, probably inspired by that. And Sentai does that all the time. Toei does that all the time with their Sentais or with their Comrader. They they bite a little bit off of popular stuff. Yeah, I mean, they're into pop culture. You see it, and even older Sentais, you see pop whatever was kind of big at the time. They kind of get inspiration from uh. What's going on? Majima, it, Majima, Gino. Yeah, I mean Harry Potter was Harry big Potter. during that time. That's Harry Potter straight up, you know. Uh, it definitely influenced by it, but yeah, in certain sentais, uh, not in all I see, but in certain uh, sentais I see uh, like just something of pop culture. There's an influence. Usually, yeah, yeah, definitely is an influence, which is a good thing, I think. And here we can see the Rangers. Uh, uh, Tension, and I really like this shot because, um, shot. in the intro, they were showing uh, you know the intro for the first episode. Um, okay. I, I guess it was part of it. I mean, we knew it was going to be actual face actors, but they were trying to sell in the first episode that the animals were going to be the characters the whole time. Mm-hmm. Um, but then at the end, we see you know they get the little helmets, that's just a cool shot. Yeah, that's one of my favorite shots. It goes away after a little while in the season, but I always love seeing them with their animal, respective animal uh, coming out. And it just they all branch out, and it looks really cool. And you see the, the shark up there? Yeah, I see shark. I don't know how it's in the land, but <laughs> it's there. <laughs> don't worry about it. We needed, we needed a water. <laughs> it's uh, water around it. It's magical shark. But uh, uh, what was I saying? Um, oh, yeah. So... This you mentioned Zenkaiger has mm-hmm. a lot of Zenkaiger feeling in it, and I know Zenkaiger came after, um, but yeah. it's the same kind of thing where the main one leader is yeah. a human, and then the rest are basically suit actors. Suit actors, um, yes. But in Duoger, they didn't commit to the bit. In Zenkaiger, mm-hmm. it's a hundred percent just a robots oh. the whole time. Yep, yeah. they. They did a special though on Zenkaiser getting off topic, but uh, they did a special what they will kind of look like and if mm-hmm. there were humans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And which was pretty cool, but yeah, um, I, I don't mind uh, all um, it being suit actors as long as you know the story and characters are really nice. I do prefer to see human beings though up there just because you know that's what we are. <laughs> but uh, and yeah. to see facial expressions and see like acting, you can see acting kind of really come through. Yeah, I guess seeing their face, but no, it's it's good, it's good stuff. But even when we got shots of these guys with just their like animal heads, mm-hmm. they do such a good job of even though they can't like move their shoulder, um, eyebrows or their lips or anything, they know how to convey emotion through mm-hmm. what little they can. It's it's so good. I think it's great. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, I do would rather prefer to see humans, but yeah. they do so good. They do so well with what they have. Yeah, they know it's, they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, it, this is the fortieth season, and we're now and, on the forty seventh. So, and also the comet too. I love how uh, the outfits look on each one. Uh, like elephants gives me a more like Indian kind yeah, of build. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
uh, tribal with like Leo. Looks like he's from, is from the Savannah, yeah, which he's the champion of. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks like he is from there. I mean, I don't, I, I get it, but uh, um, um, Amu, uh, what's her name? Uh, Sela, Sela, the pink. Uh, oh, uh, Amu, yeah, Amu. Amu, yeah, uh, yeah. That's they all look good. They all look tribal. They all look, um. Yeah, tribal and Yamato looks cool, and I always love his jackets. I love his ascot. And he has like a and his ascot. Yeah, he all he. I really like how they look in here. They're outside their I like guess street clothes uniforms. You yeah. could say mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, they look really nice too. Really good job on that. Fits the theme. They look unique, which is the the yep. whole point. They look and um, this is just my personal thing. I like Amu's weird fluffy pants or fluffy okay. shorts. Yeah. Like little bloomers or something yeah they're weird right they're like yeah. yeah you know what that looks like princess peach would have underneath her dress yeah exactly yeah <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah that cool shot and then okay so the actual plot of the season this is back before they were doing all this experimental stuff with don brothers and um king oger and zenkaiger uh this was more of a traditional sentai so big bad mm-hmm. comes to the planet and he wants to take it over or destroy it or blow it up i know it's uh destroy it he thinks it all is a game yeah. um but it's you know the he typical goes, sentai mm-hmm. the typical sentai stuff hey, like he goes it looks like they go around to different planets yes, playing yes, yes. these games mm-hmm. and they heard about earth has a lot of life uh Genesis makes a comment like oh it does have a lot of life or mm-hmm. it does like like they say yeah. so you know he wants to go over there and blow it up like all bad guys like to do he doesn't really even want to take over the world he wants to like destroy it yeah which kind of feeds into his character. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we can see a bunch of the, the guys here. Kubar, uh, Azaldo, mm-hmm. there's Genius right there. And right there in the front is um, Nadia. Uh, Nadia. Nadia, yeah, right Thank there in the green. You, in the front. Nadia. Nadia. Uh, I kind of miss that too from, uh, again, I guess, another off topic. Um, the villains uh, don't really, and the newer ones, I they don't really say anything when they grow bigger. Or... Yeah. Mm hmm. Or when they get destroyed, they usually have like a little funny thing they say at the end. Mm-hmm. Uh, I haven't uh, heard that in a while. No. Uh, and you don't really hear hear that. Like like you said, this is like classic Sentai. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Zenkaiger did say some weird shit because it's Zenkaiger and they like to make jokes like oh, yeah. every other second. <laughs> yes, that, uh, that's a goofy one. I'm sure they did say, I, maybe, I don't know. I have to go back and rewatch that. Uh, but I, I I hear what you're saying. When I went back and rewatched these episodes for this discussion, um, I forgot that yeah, every time every every time a monster grew because of Nadia. Thank you, Nadia. Nadia. Yeah, that's great. All of them say the exact same thing. It's great. And they um, really feed into the game theme. Like it's a game. Mm-hmm, they get mm-hmm. continues. Like you do if you lose in a game, you got to continue. You got to continue. And you their know? coins. Their coins that go in, and each monster has like a slot uh-huh. to, they can put it in. And the way she puts it into. Yeah, yeah, she always <laughs> presses it for some reason, but I get it. Yeah, it's she, part of our character. She kisses She's it like too. This. Yeah, he goes, Mwah. Mwah. and then slides all the time, never every, fails. Every time. <laughs> and crushes. <laughs> uh, so, this is a picture of uh, what Zuland looks like. It looks like a regular like market type place. Mm-hmm. Um, they yeah, don't really have cool normal market. buildings. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Continue. Uh, Elephants on an elephant. Elephant on an elephant, yeah. So here we can see Jagged, and he has his uh, his crew that he summoned. These are Muebas, and they are the um, henchmen of the season. Yeah. Uh, normally, we don't really point out the henchmen of the season, but... They mean something in there's, this. There's a, see, yeah. In this season. And this is one of the generals, by the way. Yeah, so uh, J- Jagged is a general, which is another thing. I'm sorry, we're going to keep doing this. Uh, yeah, I know. But you, you don't really get generals anymore, either. Yeah, yeah, you don't get generals no more. Um, yeah. Again, okay. Zenkaiger did. Zenkaiger had two. Yeah. But it wasn't really like that. Like, I- Ijiru didn't do anything. The scientist yeah. one? Yeah, he didn't really do anything. He just, like, um, sent out the worlds, I think. Yeah, he or... he, he made the guns and all that, whatever. Yeah. The gears. In uh, space? Bokwakos, though, he, he was in there. He was kind of like yeah. uh, Azald, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, in a way. Um. So yeah, Jacket's out here and he's doing stuff. And this is a really bad screenshot. And if I knew how to do a <laughs> GIF, I'd be able to do it. But 
Uh, this is when Jagged gets there and he's about to shoot this little kid. And Yamato instinctively, without thinking about his own life or anything like that, he just jumps in and he saves him. That is one of the shining moments for him, to me. Yeah. It just shows, speaks so much about his character that, like, no, he's going to go save this kid's life no matter what. Yeah, he's not trained. He's Mm-mm. not uh, mm-hmm. a military guy. He's not, uh, he's just a, a normal person. And like he said, he cherishes his life that he goes out there with no, like I said, he has no, no experience. Uh, he just sees someone in danger and he wants to help. Or it, it could be human or animals because of uh, Yamato's philosophy about everything. Everybody and everything is connected. Everything, yeah. Everything's connected. Everything's one. And humans are animals too, which I, I really love that message. Yeah. Too. Um, speaking of him, like he he he'll help no matter what. Like we see, we're gonna see that later when he meets uh, Marvelous. Mm-hmm. Mid fight, he'll stop to go help his friend or not his friend. You know who he's fighting, which yeah. is even a bigger deal. But yeah, mm-hmm. just the explosion. He saved him. Um, and this is when they're so the humans come back to the to the Earth to our Earth, and they sort of get stuck here, but they get the powers of the Zoolgers. Mm-hmm. You can see them all. Uh, henchant here it, looks pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. And and on a, another thing, this is the the zoo power or their henchin come doesn't come from Earth. Like it's supposed to be their thing. It's supposed to be this is only for zoom and powers. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They can henchin in mm-hmm. this season to this form, so humans shouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, but that later gets explained why uh, Yamato. <laughs> yeah, in like a second. It, Oh man! Uh, but this is their first, yeah. This is their first um, roll call of mm-hmm. just the four, because these are the Zoomans. These are supposed to be the Zoologers. I love Sharks uh, pose right there. She's mm-hmm. like, kind of. It looks like she's in the sea or something like that. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be here. Uh, I'm not. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not to... when they get back from, when they come back from the Link Cube, I guess they're here. They come back because they have to protect the Earth because it's being invaded. Um, yes, the jagged shoots the link cube and destroys it, and six cubes jump out, and one of them gets picked up by this mysterious bird hand, uh, who we find out later is Bard, mm-hmm. and he has a whole connection thing with Yamato, which is one of my favorite things. Um, and you need um uh, and this is pivotal in the story because they search for these cubes because they need yeah. all six to come mm-hmm. back so they can get back home. Yeah, but one gets taken, and most of the season they're searching for that one cube. Yeah, and they eventually find out that it was another human that got it, and then they're gonna like, oh, we're looking for him now because he's gonna have it, and um, mm-hmm. it was a pretty good device to keep the story rolling week to week. Like, okay, this week we're gonna look for this. Oh, maybe it's here. No, it's not. So, uh, it was yeah. really, really, really fun way to to keep the story moving. Mm-hmm. Um, so we get to Yamato, and he, as you can see, is being able to hench in. Um, because of the thing you said, he says animals are humans too. Yeah, it's all uh, connected. So he, oh, I mean, it does help that he had uh, the Birdman's powers inside of him too. I also think that fact that mainly factored into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I really, I don't know. I mean, he says the line, you know, animals, humans are animals too. But yeah. I mean, he's not, he's not zero human. He's zero eagle. Eagle. And yeah. he, so I think it did help that he received power because it with the cubes he's been having one of these cubes for a very long time too the one that bard and the other slide picked up Mm -hmm. yamato when he first go finds the link cube he drops his uh his lucky charm which is one of the cubes he received as a little boy yeah and which is the scene right here uh when bard saves yamato at a young age it looks like and uh uh gives him the cube for good luck and thinks it will be safe with him yeah but, uh, and also, they're very surprised at that point, too, uh, that a human can transform mm-hmm. into a Zeolder. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that looks just as cool. Yeah. This is right uh, after he henchins, and yeah, he he's swagging on everybody. The uh, bald eagle also flying in that scene was really oh, cool. Just mm-hmm. in the background. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he goes in, and he just destroys Jagged, which, again, was one of the commanders. And if you're listening to this and you don't know anything what we talk about when we say commander, commander is supposed to be somebody who chooses a monster to fight the rangers. Yeah. So he's like a, a, a leader um, 
Yeah. Un- right underneath the main leader. Um, yeah. There's usually like the, it's a hierarchy in there. Like you said, it's the main leader. And then he usually has like maybe three or four uh, commanders mm-hmm. that are his like second in commands that controls like, you know, like the Morbius. The, uh, they're called Morbius or what are they called in here? Uh, the, M- Morbius. The henchmen. The, yeah, that controls the henchmen, the Morbus. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, uh, he fights them in the first episode, which you rarely get to see uh, at the very beginning. Usually the uh, the generals are not doing that. They kind of come later. They, you're usually seeing um, their mooks out to go fight the um, the team, the Sentai team. Yeah. It's like slow them down and stuff. Yeah, um, slow them down. But this jagged guy was really cocky. And yep. uh, he jumped out and he got washed, I don't know, by one ranger, which is really, really cool. Yeah, Yamato is uh, surprisingly strong. Uh, and I just, I mean, it just come, I think it just comes from his character, yeah. too. But it, uh, it feels earned. Yeah, it feels earned. You don't feel like, oh, it's just like, because they wrote him like that. Mm-hmm. You, you don't know. You feel it, especially during the other scene. Maybe it feels like that if you're watching this for the first time. But if the more you see Yamato, you see why he's like one of the best leaders. Yeah. This, this. Yeah. So he's a good red and he's a good leader. Those are two different things. You could be a good leader, Mm -hmm. but be a bad red, or you could be a good uh, red, but be a bad leader. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say it. Damo Mutaro will start out as a bad leader. Um, Yeah. Yeah. He was. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen all of uh, Dom Brothers, but yeah, I could see. He's that. He's just hard. He's hard on his uh, companions, uh, yeah. Mamotaro. Mm-hmm. Uh, he expects. I mean, Mamotaro's character is kind of like it's like Yamato, where it's really, really good, but it's not. You don't see it earned because he's kind of born to be busted. Yeah, he's that's kind of like his thing. He doesn't need to train. He doesn't need to do anything. He's just naturally gifted at doing everything. Yeah, uh, but in my opinion, that that I think that. That's funny. Yeah. But that's funny too. I mean, you can use some of those reds. Um, so since I'm here, we'll be looking at this shot for a little while. Yeah. Um, a, a big complaint I hear from people from this show Ooh. specifically is the suit design. Okay. What do you think of it? Uh, I, I'm not going to say uh, it's bad i love the little uh how the gloves are with the black trim mm-hmm. jacket on them yeah i i would think people are probably upset at the animal faces on the suit uh yes. i can't see any other complaints you will have the helmets are really really well done and like that and mm-hmm. i can get people's kind of gripe but it's not bad i mean they even make a joke of this later on yeah in the, in the season um about the suits mm-hmm. but i think it's i mean it's animals and they're showing you that they're animals, so I, I, I yeah. Um, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, um, yeah, but uh, I mean, that's something so small. I mean, not every suit's gonna be your favorite suit, but I think it fits the theme pretty well. And there's been a lot of animal uh based Sentai's in the past, and yep. this uh, out of all of them, you could probably remember these because they stand out so much. Yeah. Um. I think if they were a little more ambitious, the suits would have had a little more uniqueness in them uh, besides just the helmet. Because mm-hmm. if you look, the suits are all the same except for the printed on uh, animal. Um, yeah. Which I'm not hating. I like that too. Um, mm-hmm. I, like you said, it's very unique. Mm-hmm. But my, I like this suit a lot. I mean, it's the, the helmets are some of the coolest helmets because they're all mm-hmm. square and cube and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but the I would say maybe my only thing is the belt. It mm. feels too complicated. Yeah. It has all of their little animals on it and um, like mm. in a collage or whatever. But yeah. I th- I, personally, I think it's too much for just a a, a belt buckle, you know? Mm. I'll um, get that. But I still like it. I'm not complaining about it at all. Um, yeah, but yeah. if there was anything like I would like, maybe make it like a simpler logo or something like that. Um, mm. Do that. But like you said, there's a bunch of other anime sen- animal sentai um and this is the 40th season so i get it where you have to like do what you can with what you have yeah um, but yeah the 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 uh the boots and the the gloves are magnificent oh. i love the way those look yeah they look really nice and that they have solid color legs solid mm-hmm. color arms there's no break apart in any of it like it's such a 
a sort of basic look, mm-hmm. but I you you know what it is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Um, so then we get to the mech, which another okay. again a lot of people had problems with, <laughs> uh, which I also understand. It's very cuby. It's very Minecraft. Yes, yeah, very Minecraft. But you know, if it's the theme of the show, it's cubes. They're going for that that look, and maybe they're trying to get people. Minecraft's very, very, very popular. Mm-hmm. So I get why uh, uh, Toy made that choice to go with like you know cubes. Yeah. It's different from other Sentai's. There's no cube-based stuff. So, like I said, it's very unique. Yeah. In that kind of sense. Yeah. But, but I, uh, I do like so. how they combine. Mm-hmm. Uh, three, oh, two, yeah. one, Fun. and they stack each other, and it's really easy. I mean, I have the I have the DX toys here, and it's okay. super easy to combine these. You literally do just stack them up on each other, turn them around, and then the arms will pop. Like it's it's the easiest thing in the world. Mm-hmm. Um. But that's cool because again, this is I say this in every episode of the podcast. Basically, um, these are commercials for toys for kids. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. so it, it conveys that pretty well. Yes, they always do a good job of uh, showing that too. I feel like Sentai does a good job showing off the toys. Other Sentais kind of do it better mm-hmm. showing off the toys. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know one of your favorite Sentais uh, you said does that. Uh, Kyoyuji. Kyoyuji, yeah, they oh, show yeah. up shots, the shots they do of the toys is really really nice oh yeah it's 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 the guy who i like a lot the director koichi sakamoto he did the past two geats episodes um mm. every time he touches any form of tokusatsu you know what you're getting when well, you know what you're in for and it's a great time because he knows mm. what he's doing and it's very apparent um because he one of his things that he highlights and there's this video called the sakamoto effect the koichi sakamoto effect on youtube um Mm -hmm. where it like highlights a bunch of his scenes and one of them is like the toy shot and yeah he knows how to accent the 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 new toys the new the new person coming in whatever uh Mm -hmm. really really well he's 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 really good at that um okay so he turns to a mech and they finally actually defeat jagged so one of the generals is down Mm -hmm. and uh, that basically sets up the season uh but we also get to see the human faces of our um animal buddies amu sela you can see there, mm-hmm. Leo, Love Leo, <laughs> uh, and Tusk, and Tusk, and they all look pretty good. They all look um, what you'd probably imagine they would look like yeah. as humans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was my favorite, Blue. She's great. She's really yeah. um, mature. Yes, uh, as we see, get to know her more later on in the season. Um, she's sort of oh the oldest uh and so the season goes on and we have the little hijinks and stuff and uh this is we meet larry and he's pretty awesome um we find out that he was a zoo man who came to earth to sort of um survey right he was just checking it out he's also a scientist he's a scientist I yeah that, i don't know if that's a um an overwatch reference because there's a gorilla that says he oh you're right movie. yeah i don't i don't know if they What's the guy that came out in 2016? I don't know when this Sentai uh, aired. It probably was. It was 2016. Was it? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's uh, one thing, too. The monkey in Overwatch is, he says he's not a monkey. He's a scientist. And Larry mm-hmm. says, I'm a scientist. <laughs> they don't call him a monkey, Oops. though, or anything like that. No. Um, but, Larry- but they get to reunite with him because they're really excited because they hadn't seen any human. You know, they're stuck here on Earth. So, uh, <laughs> but we do find out that he has issues with Yamato because uh, yes. he doesn't like humans. Because when he when he first got here and he was trying to get friendly with humans, this happened. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you see a a big uh, gorilla uh, saying "Hola," uh, you shoot at it. I guess that's we're, yeah. we're humans, and that's the first our first instinct is to like that's dangerous. Got Even it, though he it. wasn't doing, he wasn't doing anything dangerous. No. He was saying hi to people. <laughs> uh, that is something I forgot to mention. Yeah, he speaks Spanish sometimes. Yeah, just out of nowhere, right. and it's fantastic. Makes if, you think like if he was studying, the first places he went was Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that no, when he shouts no, you know that oh, yeah. no, you know yeah, that's Spanish. No. It's a Spanish no for sure. It's yeah, like... <laughs> yeah, no. 
Hola, yeah, like, amigos. Uh, amigos. Yeah, he's a really unique character for Sentai, and I, I really like... He really... You you remember Larry. Even though he has very few scenes in, throughout the season, uh, he just... Just his look and how he is, you can just... He just burns an image in your head. Yeah, he's a good ally. Um, yeah. So, yeah, he gets shot at, and he actually does get shot to get him in the arm. Um, so he has a lifelong fear and hate. Well, maybe not hate, but fear of humans. Yeah, he just fears them. Um, I took the shot so we can see Mario real quick. Mario is there, like, kind of um, sensei. Their mentor. Their mentor. That's that's yeah. the word I was looking for. Mentor. He's mm -hmm. the mentor, but he does not know that a there's human, <laughs> b that there's you olders, um, or he doesn't know anything that's going on with them. Really, he's just basically. Yeah. Uh, Lives with them, feeds them. He treats them like kids. Yeah. And he's very welcoming to them, even though they're uh, um, strangers. Oh, yeah. He's very um, open and loving, just like Yamato. Yeah, just like Yamato is. Uh, probably why uh, Yamato gets that from, uh, too. Because mm -hmm. he was raised by uh, um, Mario. He lived with Mario most of his life, I, th I believe. Yeah, he right? mm -hmm. Yeah, Mario raised him. And... Uh, Probably where he gets it from. Yeah. Too. Um. I mean, we didn't really go into oh, because we didn't because we're going to uh, eventually. But yeah, Mario is one of the also one of my favorite characters in all of Sentai as well. Mm, Might yeah. not my favorite mentor, but he is he's pretty high up there. Yeah, he's a goofy character, man. He's, he's so goofy. He's so goofy. And I, like I say, I like his name too. And uh, yeah, his name is Mario. <laughs> I wonder where they got that from. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. There's a picture of me right there. It's not even my name. <laughs> <laughs> is that your picture right there on the wall? No. Uh oh, ba -ba -ba. Uh oh, there he is. <clears throat> um. So the, again, Yamato being his compassionate self, he he doesn't like that Larry has that fear of humans. So he tries to make him friendly, and eventually, you know, they many times too. Mm -hmm. Many times he tries to, he sneaks in, Yama, like he will just sneak in, the zoom man will be helping out Larry, and mm -hmm. then Yamato will just pop up and say something, and he'll turn around and, you know, no. do his things. No. Yeah. No. But and, um, it just speaks to Yamato's character again, like how, how compassionate and caring he is, which is really, really, love that dude. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so in this episode, Azald comes down. I just like this, this uh, roll call right here. Wow, yeah. That's really nice. Like uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Azal comes down, and uh, they got to beat him up. Oh, so sorry, we didn't mention this either. Oh, yeah, um, they're little power-ups. Yeah, in, in this Sentai, they all have a power-up, which is really, really cool, um, which is also something we don't really see much anymore, um, mm -hmm. like a unique power-up for each one, and they all have one, and they all had one in the first episode. Yeah. Uh, right, their, right from the get. Yeah, right from the get. It's their zoom in power uh, manifesting itself mm -hmm. pretty much, uh, you know, uh, Sela gets her fin and tiger and lion get their claws and elephant gets his, uh, you know, his feet where he can stomp on people. Yeah. And, and Yamato gets his actual wings. Wings. He gets his wings. Um, it's really, really neat that they did something like this. Cause again, we don't really get that enough anymore. And we didn't really get that before. Um, I think before this was mm. Ninja. No. Go Busters. The ninjas after, yeah, the ninjas after this is the season after this, right? No, the ninjas, at, ninjas before. Before. Oh, it's Q Ranger. Q Ranger. Q Ranger. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. But yeah, so they get bodied, and Yamato ends up getting Larry's um human energy to become. Well, he see. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he sees how compassionate Yamato is. Yeah. Uh, Fighting, and he was actually surprised that uh, Yamato too can turn into a Zeolger. Yeah. So, I guess, given all that, he, you know, he just thought Yamato was a good guy after yeah. all. Mm -hmm. Especially if he can turn into like you know his people's champions. Yeah, and that's something too that the Zoomin do know what Zeolgers are, right? Like they, yeah, they have records yeah. of that. They have records of that. Yeah. They they know what that's for. That's why they wasn't surprised when I guess when they transform or they didn't say what are these. Yeah, but the humans don't know what the hell this is at all. Yeah, yeah. Um. So here oh, we I see big boy. <laughs> I love the the fists so much on this suit. 
Yeah, dude, the padding for his muscles yeah, and, padding. and and everything. Uh, that's, that's oh, real, I mean, it, oh yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, Yamato g- went to the gym, <laughs> got really rich. Dude, could you imagine if that muscle was real? The way the the glove is the spike right there on the bicep. Can you imagine how much that? Was? Yeah. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> and uh, uh, what's uh-huh. cool about this transformation too is he doesn't. I mean, later on, he uses the cube to transform into this, but for the first time, he just lifts up his mask to mm-hmm. reveal there's a gorilla under it after getting his powers, which yeah. I really like. He didn't just, like, transform. He just did it, mm-hmm. you know, and bulked up, which Larry was super strong. It showed it also in that episode that Larry was really strong. He actually tossed Yamato against a tree yeah. pretty easily. Yeah, All of them were holding onto this pole, and Larry just easily, like, chunked them. Yeah, without any effort. I really like yeah the way the pecs are the eyebrows on this monkey. It's just it's just a really cool design. Yeah, the helmet is really guys. You got the gorilla nose right there. Mm-hmm. The little mouth. <laughs> yeah, the gorilla. Yeah, <laughs> which I don't never see him use it. He does use like a little like um uh, with his nose. Yeah, uh, I don't see him use it uh as a power. He used it. You he used it as a to blow somebody away. Yes. you know because you know the grunt of a gorilla. Yeah, is so strong. Yeah. I guess. But yeah, the hands, everything, man. Uh, I just took that's, this picture because of Sela. Yeah. Sela, and that's their little shark dance shot. Good shot, good that's, shot. Yeah, scary shark at the back though. He's looking right at you. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> um. Oh man. Well, All 20, this love for the older, and here yep. comes this mother freaker. He's. Oh yeah, I just noticed too. His colors are inverted on his hands and on his mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm, his mm-hmm, black mm-hmm. boots. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. That's really nice. It looks really, really nice, nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. Um, His outfit's one of the best, too. So this guy is really cool because he does something that we hadn't seen in a long time. Um, so back in Zoo Ranger, Zoo Ranger, which is MMPR for us, mm-hmm. uh, Rita Repulsa or Bandora um, made uh, a Green Ranger. Or yeah. oh, what's Dragon his name? Ranger. Dragon Ranger, yeah. Um, and he's a, basically an evil version of the Rangers to fight them. And that's what happens here. Uh, Genis grabbed somebody and made an evil Ranger to fight the Zuogers. And that is how they first introduced him. And he washes them. Um, he beats him so bad with his fishing pole. Um, oh, it's, my It's pretty God. funny. Yeah. it's. I mean, it's not meant to be funny at all. And it's yeah, yeah. definitely taken seriously. But I just said that he beat five rangers with the fishing pole that's the how's that not funny yeah how's that not funny that <laughs> that is that's hilarious but they make it look cool though yeah yeah, yeah of course um yeah. and, and he does he does such a good job and um you know they talk to him and and they sort of calm him down and he he turns against uh Genis and all the bad guys mm-hmm. uh, so here he is this is what he looks <laughs> like underneath uh, yep. mondo misao uh we find out that he got his powers from uh, Genis, like I said. But what happened was Genis got three Zuman and sort of basically sacrificed them and put their, their powers into him. Forcibly, so he, too. Forcibly, yeah. So, A, uh, Misao did not have a choice in this. He didn't really, like, oh, yeah, give me the powers. I'm going to be evil or whatever. He was plucked, basically, by, yep. by Genis. For a special um, reason too. Jimmy yeah. Co- chose him for a reason too. Yeah, and you can see here it's very like can you imagine um uh, Misao his first interaction with this whole world is seeing the main big bad guy. Like, yeah. He wakes up as he sees this shit. That's crazy. <laughs> uh but here are his three curses. It's what he, he refers to them as, but they're the three powers that he got. Again, really cool with the costume design. Um you can see how different each of them look. They're from different regions of the world. Yeah, different regions of the world uh, where you will probably find these animals, kind mm-hmm. of. Yeah. Uh, what Wolf looks like he's from Russia or something, or something like I that. Yeah, say. he's got that husky kind of hat. Yeah. That's husky kind of hat. Uh, uh, I don't. Middle know. Eastern, like like a Nile, I guess, crocodile, Egyptian, Egyptian, uh, yeah, or middle, good. some kind middle of Eastern, middle, uh-huh. Eastern, middle Eastern, and yeah. um, Rhino, I can't really. Put down. I I would say it's from Africa, but it doesn't look like. Uh, I don't know where that's from. Yeah, 
I mean, but again, I... there he so he feels guilty um, because he got these powers and they, he took them from the Zuma. And now that he knows what Zuma are and everything, uh, yeah. he feels guilty. But so he runs away and he's real sad. But again, here comes Yamato, Mister Compassion. He's like, no, I'm gonna go get him and we're gonna try to make things better. And he he does help make things better. Um, but yeah, here's a, a quick shot of what it looked like when he was getting the powers of the uh, Zuman. Uh, they're actually hanging up there. That's their feet dangling. Yeah, they're they're dead. They're dead. They're, they're not. They're, they're gone. Dead. Yeah. Or if they're just hanging there, he's just whatever ener- the energy transfers. If yeah. They they die there. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my favorite things about I'm not going to say it on that screen. I'm going to say it on this mm-hmm. screen. One of my favorite things about um Duel of the World is that he is three colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, yes. Two of them are traditional sixth colors, gold and silver, but he's also black, and that's his main color. That's what he goes by, like, officially. His colorization is black. Yeah, that's, like, his default uh, Mm -hmm. transformation, which is rhinos. uh, Rhinos! Yeah. Rhino form is, like, his default uh, transformation form. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Why he's in the middle. And most of his costume's black. (laughs) But uh, that's why I really like um, that he is three different colors, not just one solid color. Because usually you get, you know, the White Ranger, the 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 Silver Ranger, the Gold Ranger. This guy is gold, black, and silver. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, so while this is happening, while they're making up, uh, again, the two generals come down to Earth and they capture the Zoom men, the rest of them, because uh, they want to take back Misao, um, the Zuo of the world, to, uh, to work on him again. Um, but here we can see Misao <laughs> still struggling with it, struggling with it in his mind. Uh, yeah. That could be African, maybe. Maybe. Um, but yeah, um, him struggling with it is also a, a human thing. I mean, he did, he didn't ask for this, and he felt like it's his fault that these creatures died, too, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, because of him. So he, that really weighs on his conscience that he doesn't, well, his character in general doesn't feel like he deserves anything. Yeah, poor guy. Like yeah, big poor time, guy. poor guy. Which uh, is a reason that Guinness kind of plucked him because of that, like, self worthlessness. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel yeah. worthless. So yeah. I plucked somebody that felt worthless. Yeah. Which plays a big part in the story, too. Yeah. And again, um, this is not meant to be like a, a, qu- a, a full investigation in the show. We're just sort of highlighting some of our favorite moments from it. Um, so I apologize if any of you have not seen Zuoger and are just watching this. Kind of Go hard watch not it. to talk about. It. This is a, <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be very spoilerific. Yeah, I, I say forty five minutes into recording. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we, yeah, we see he doesn't get over it because this is gonna be a thing that that follows with him the whole season. Um, but we can see here he's sort of embracing it. And he's gonna use his powers for good. And look at that. Yeah, Yamato convinced them that he should fight. Yeah, too. Just like how Yamato is, he they're 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 very similar. Where Yamato has the powers of two Zuman, um, they're not dead, but they did shorten their lifespan. That's something we didn't mention with oh, um, yes. with Larry. He did shorten his lifespan by giving him his power. Yeah, yeah. And that also sure happened did. to the bird they gave him, which we find out his name is Bard. 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 Like, um, a, like the singer. Like the singer. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, this I again the helmet looks really sick. Um, here we can see the little shoulder pads kind of thing that he has too. It's very yeah. simple but very sick looking. I like it a lot. Yeah, and you could see in that pose too. He's representing the rhino, like you know, a strong fist, That's, like a strong mm-hmm. horn. In oh front. yeah, he has love for that. his different. Yeah, I love it for each like transformation he has of his three animals. He goes into a pose mm-hmm. of. Representing that animal, which all of, which all of them do that, yeah. but it's cool seeing him do it too. Yeah, especially this because it's so simple. It's just one, one big fist forward, but it's like yeah, hell yeah. yeah, like that that has so much power. Yeah, yeah, you could feel the feel it in the stance. Like, yeah, that's a power. Stuff. Looks really cool. The helmet looks nice. Huh. And just like <laughs> everybody else, he has his own little power up form. And here we can see Rhino in the center, Crocodile on the left, and uh, Wolf on the right. Um, so he gets all three, and he says, yeah. "All instincts awakened." When he yep. does his, yeah, you see, see the rhino, the right, 
Yeah, you see the rhino horn, so from his shoulder pads get sharp. Mm -hmm. I love that they chose on the crocodile. You would think they'll choose the mouth because mm -hmm. crocodiles are known for their, you know, death rolls and stuff like that with their, you know, their mouth is strong, but they go with the tail. And I apologize. Uh, this shot doesn't do it well, but yeah, it is a long tail that, 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 that's there. It grows. <laughs> yeah, it grows even yeah. longer. And then he gets the fangs of a wolf with his, uh, or his claws, his claws, claws of the yeah. wolf, which is really, really nice. But Misao being Misao. Yeah, so this is, again, <laughs> him feeling depressed about having this power and, and how he got and everything. Um, so he takes it upon himself, and this is what it looks like. This is his Big Mac combination. Uh. Side duo, and it, I think it was pretty cool. Yeah, I just love the color scheme with the black, gold, and silver. Oh yeah, it just looks really, really nice. Those colors together. Yeah. Um, because and it's cubes, an eighteen wheel. It's an eighteen wheel. Yeah, I was gonna say because your cubes, they have to do something with that. And the rhino is a big eighteen wheeler carrying the crocodile and wolf cubes. Yeah, um, I love it. I like that the crocodile is just that's it right there is his arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Full sail. That's it. <laughs> you don't really, uh, uh, do, you, do you really see the wolf? I don't really. Uh... The wolf is the head, so okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. You can't really, you can't really signify that yeah, much. Rhino's, I mean, yeah. Rhino's the body. The Pretty rhino's much. the whole body. Rhino, rhino is the body, and then the uh, the other arm for the rhino is the rhino head, or the rhino horn. Yes, it sure is. Yeah. Um. So yeah, afterwards. They, they they kind of make up and they're all buddies again, so uh, they want to be friends. And this this really reminded me of like the way kids talk to each other, or how kids interact with each other. Um, they invite him to lunch, and Misa was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." And because they don't match his energy immediately, he his response is, "Oh, you were just you were just being nice. Never never mind. Okay." Um, and that sort of reminds me of how friend how friends how kids um can be that sort of emotionally unaware of situations um it really did feel like the kid group is inviting a new kid to group to frame to join them and he doesn't feel like he um he can keep up or he's on the same level as them even though like dude we're inviting you for a reason you know we're, we're buddies yeah. yeah i wouldn't say that just to say it and yeah. that's how yamato's here, obviously, yeah, he's not that kind of guy. You no, know mean what he says. The rest but, of them, though, the rest of them are much more kid like in the way they respond. They're mm -hmm. like, Oh, this fucking weirdo. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Yamato is like the kindergarten teacher who's like, No, it's okay, look, we're, we're fine. We're come on, let's go. That is a perfect way to describe Yamato. He's a kindergarten, he's teacher. a kindergarten, he's he just... has to wrangle up these fucking these kids. Yep, um, he has to. Oh yeah. yeah. And then this is just Misao made these plushies and they look really nice. Mm -hmm. So after I saw this episode yesterday, I um I uh, I, I, I was up, figuring. <laughs> I looked up uh if they were still available anywhere. Look at Leo. <laughs> He's really available. nice. The girls are not available for purchase anymore anywhere. Mm -hmm. But the boys are. Uh okay. All right. I this call him guy. the true bag, the true big baddie. <laughs> well, Yamato's big baddie. Yeah, his big like rival. I feel like okay, like like in the show, like this is like Yamato's like like there's the team big baddie, which is Genis, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's Yamato, and then there's one character that's like the Zeolders themselves, like oh, they're yeah, yeah. kind of mm -hmm. like their thing they they want to do. So there's like kind of three kind of focuses, three kind of like. Agendas, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, so this is Bungley. And he's a son of a bitch. Yep. Uh, he uh, basically had nothing to do with at, at all with the death game, which is what the game is called that Genesis is playing. Uh, he has nothing to do with death game. He has nothing to do with the, the world, the Zoologers, nothing. He nothing. is a basically space pirate bounty man yeah. um, who stumbles upon this. And he heard about a bounty on Earth. So he's messing around with them, and then Jenna sort of takes him. He's like, hey, what are you doing here? What's going on? And they sort of uh, talk and ask. Uh, Jenna invites him to the game, and he's like, no. Right? He doesn't, he doesn't want to at first. Yeah. He doesn't want to at first. And then uh, later on, he accepts for his, uh, for his own means, though. He's, yeah. So um, um, this episode... 
perhaps he would be suited to test play so to test out how to play or whatever uh sorry you were gonna say though um i i don't remember uh it's okay uh it'll probably come to me um yeah Uh, i don't really remember uh what i was gonna say then so in this episode Uh, we we kind of uh sorry no, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, so in this episode, we kind of find out why Yamato is staying with his uncle. Um, you know, where's his... Not that he's... He's definitely old enough to, like, live on his own. Yeah, definitely. Um, but, you know, why is he with his uncle? Why is his... Where's his mom or dad? And here we find out he's at a grave, and it's his mom's grave. Um, so that already is kind of heavy for the episode. Uh, yeah. But it gets it, heavier. Uh, this is... Mm-hmm. I feel like this Sentai's uh, also uh, just in terms of all Sentai's. I mean, everything's fantasy based, obviously, in these Sentai's. But there's some that are just like I, I would say uh, down to earth Sentai's. Like they're more you can relate to a lot of the stuff that's going on with Yamato, which also makes his character uh, even better. I think a lot of the issues he faced, and also with Misao too as the six, uh, just yeah. the emotion. Stuff like that, and not a lot of those get conveyed in uh, in a Sentai. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, that's one reason that makes a Sentai special is because, like you know, just the topics they hit. Yeah. Uh, uh, on the show. Yeah, and again, going back to like me calling Yamato a kindergarten teacher, it's like this is the stuff that he as an adult has to deal with. Mm-hmm. Um, and because the Jewelers are there, who again, in my comparison, are like the kindergarten kids, they get to experience whatever trauma he goes through through him. Mm-hmm. So what trauma specifically we're about to see here, um, while he's at the grave, you know, memorying his mother, he gets a call and uh, Bungle is, is wreaking havoc or whatever. So he's the first to get there and Bungle beats him. Um, so he knocks out. When he comes mm-hmm. to, he sees his mom. Uh, we find out that Bungle has the power to read people's memories and uh, create manifest. like a manifest, not a complete 100% copy, because if it was a 100% copy, that'd be like an unstoppable power. Yeah. Um, but he does somehow may manage to bring um, Yamato's mom here. Mm-hmm. And they sort of have a interaction and it's shocking because she's dead. And we see shots of her on her deathbed and he's there with her. Um, so this, you can imagine the kind of trauma he's experiencing here. Like, whoa. Um, that'd be so real. I mean, <laughs> that'll be, <laughs> I took the shot because that is a suit actress. She was a- uh, Amu's suit actress, Zio Tiger. Okay. Um, and I like seeing her pop up every now and then. She was in Don Brothers too. She had little, two little dogs. One of them was named Momo. Okay. That's cool. They Momo. do that. Yeah. She, she specifically comes around a lot. Um, Surprisingly, she's not anybody's suit actor in uh, King Oger. Um, she was Majinu. She was Oni's sister, and um, I don't know what happened, but she's not she's not a main uh, suit actress anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, this is Yamato like dealing with what what he's seeing, and there's what happened. So he's sort of coming to grips with that. Uh, this is a really good shot here of the. The gang. Oh, the gang. That's another good shot. Yeah. See and you can there. see also in that last, um, the one where you have uh, Yamato and his mom uh, on the bench, um, he, you could see him and say, I'm never going to see my mom. He already knows that this person's yeah. not his mom. Yeah. But, I mean, any human being wouldn't, couldn't help. I mean, if you lost your mom at a very young age and you got to see her, yeah, you deny it, but like he still... I mean, you can't help your emotions still. Yeah, right? that's one of the things, too, that helps make Yamato so Yamato. He's so mm-hmm. mature. Like, he knows, like, no, this is a trick. I'm not going to fall for this. I know this isn't. But it's still like, damn, that's my mom. You know, like, he oh, yeah. <laughs> he sits with that and he he accepts that. And it's just so, it's so, his character, I, I'm going to forever <laughs> love yep. his character. Yeah. Um, And then this shit happens. And this is Bungley's big plan that he wanted to do. <laughs> so Bungle is annoyed that Yamato is uh, very That's compassionate. Yeah. And that he's so um, 
everything has a connection. That was something we mentioned earlier. That's one of the things he says that everybody has a connection. Everybody, everybody his everything's mom connected. That. Yeah, his mom taught him that. Oh. Yeah, he gets that from his mom. Everything's connected. Everything's one. <laughs> so this was his plan <laughs> to kill his mom in front of him, so he can watch uh. her die a second time. That's that's bad of the bad. Like there's evil, but that's that's like that's going to a different level. Like he's trying to not physically hurt this man. He's trying to break this dude down. <laughs> yeah. He's really trying to. That's his goal is yeah. to break him to where he can be. Like I guess I he wants him to feel anger and be evil or go that route. Or I don't know if that's his true goal. I mean I know he wants to emotionally hurt Yamato, but yeah. but that's the way you do it. And I never seen like this in a Sentai. Yeah, too. and it's not even like it's. If you see stuff like this, it's usually like later on, mm-hmm. way later on in the show. This mm-hmm. is what episode twenty four, like baby yeah. halfway. Baby, yeah, <laughs> it's cr- halfway. yeah, it's crazy how like this is an emotional episode. Yeah, he has um, to witness his mom's death again. He does it as a child, and he witnesses, even though it's fake. It, yeah, it's, it's real in Yamato's. I'm pretty sure heart seeing how his mom die again. Yeah, you can't not like. How can you not? How that? Yeah, yeah. that's. Oh yeah. boy! And then, you know, in typical Sentai fashion, he get picks himself up and sort of rallies against uh, Bungle. Um, mm-hmm. But for a while there, he's just sitting there while they're fighting Bungle. He's like he's sitting cracking. with the fact, yeah, he's sitting with the fact that that just happened in front of him and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but this was a cool scene right here where Bungle's basically he's down and out, and he just says, "Red, what's your name again?" And he goes, "Zuo Eagle." Kazakira Yamato. Yeah. Basically, so that he can keep tabs on him now. And he's like, okay, you're who I'm after now. Yeah, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then we see Wild Tosai King. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. I like this. This is probably my favorite combination of the show. Maybe this, Whale. This, also about this one, uh, about this combination, it's a little funny bit because they're deciding how to stack the Oh, yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> 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 I was going to go like this. They were doing it in different forms with the, with the toys. With, with, with the, the toys. <laughs> yeah. With the toys. And they're playing with them and they're trying to put them in different areas on the, you know, because uh, uh, my soul's is a, a 18 wheeler. So there's a lot of space. <laughs> yeah. so they're just stacking them up and they're getting it all wrong. And then they finally get it. And then, like, okay, this one works. Yeah. <laughs> this one. <laughs> I really, so that's, what, really, that's a cool thing. Yeah, I really like that they. they did something like that like it's not just magic like oh it just goes like this no they had to like figure out like oh put the cube here and this and that and yeah. it's a little a little puzzle a little puzzle <laughs> for them the, the complete which is really cool and those drawings back there are cool too i like that uh, i really uh i wish we could see alligator's face a little bit more yeah. uh his bunch of things like that but yeah they look really really cool you can't see the shark either though yeah you can't see shark and yeah you can't really see shark but they you you know it's there and you know it's good. <laughs> yeah, I have white eyes. Oh, uh, yeah, uh. scary. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's the man. it's the man. So this being the fortieth uh, season of the show, uh, also meant it had the two thousandth episode. Um, so for Zuoji, they did a special thing where Gokaiji made an appearance for a little bit, uh, for two episodes, and uh, they're probably some of my favorite uh, episodes in a Sentai. This crossover, we basically got a whole crossover movie, but in in the show. Yep, right um, in the show. So his first appearance is him, no suit on, just stopping Bangle from taking somebody's lunch. Yeah, he says he didn't pay for that. It's not free. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, this is Marvel, and so I I did get to watch this live. Uh, what mm-hmm. happened was um, I started Ninninger live. I was watching that live. I got okay. to around episode eight or nine, and I was like, mm, no. So I stopped. No. Okay. Um, and then, you know, life went on, and then eventually Zildjur was on, um, and it got to around episode 20, 24. Mm-hmm. And around that time, there was some screenshots that leaked of Gokaiger filming something new. Mm. And people using leaks and, like, catalogs and stuff we were able to find out there's going to be a special for gokaiger coming into zuoger and that was it for me because i had already seen gokaiger uh kyoyuger i think i maybe saw tokyo too before um i already seen sentai before and of course i like gokaiger 
So that was enough for me to just jump in. So from, I guess, when they aired episode 24 to mm-hmm. episode 29, I binged Zuolger to catch up to start watching live. So I didn't start watching oh. Zuolger live until like episode 26, 27. Okay, okay. That's cool. Um, so yeah, so this was a, a big deal for me. But this got me back into it because after this, I then Q Ranger on. I was just, I'm watching it live and, every week. Uh, um, Gokaiger. Is that it's go guys the first true anniversary of Sentai, right? Like, would you say, or is it? And I can't remember in the other one, Bo Kendra's is number 30, right? Like, anniversary season, season, I um, guess like, they really pay homage to like other Sentais. Well, I know for Bo Kendra specifically, did you watch Bo Kendra? I haven't watched Bo Kendra, okay. Uh, I saw like the first like few episodes, but I haven't like watched it in its entirety yet. So I have I haven't seen it either, but I know this about it. Mm-hmm. Um, every monster of the week in Bokinger mm-hmm. is based on a mech from a past Sentai. Oh, that's nice. So it's very loose and it kind of looks like it, but it's it's not like in in Zenkaiger or Don Brothers mm-hmm. where it kind of looks like. No, it's like. It's it's very clearly an homage to that Sentai's that mech? mech, yeah. Mm, that's really cool. But cool, it's cool. also not like shouted out at all. It's not like oh he looks like or this is no. It's not, not it. It's like if you catch it, you catch it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was only saying that because you know, uh, the older being an anniversary season, you know, one of the increments of fives. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, that it didn't feel like it was an anniversary until it hit these two couple of episodes, and then they became like, okay, it is an anniversary. They did something, you know? Yeah, and you're saying that based on Zenkaiger too, right? Because Zenkaiger, every single episode yeah. was, hey, remember the yeah. same thing? Yeah, I guess like you said, like Dom Brothers, Bo Kendra's did the same thing, but the, it's not really based off of mechs. Uh, yeah. Dom Brothers did uh, just like of the season. Of the theme of the season, yeah. Theme of the season, season yeah, of the which season. is really cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, uh, there are space semens out there. Uh oh. Uh oh, I said. <laughs> somebody uh, somebody get this guy. Uh huh. Can, can we add this out? Hmm. Same way. No way, this is staying in. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let's get back to Marvelous and the uh, and thing, uh, which fits perfectly with Bungley's theme too, because he's like a a pirate ish kind of thing, which yeah. is perfect. Yeah, so it, it feels like Bangle was made to fight Captain Marvelous, even yeah. though Bangle happened way before this anniversary thing was shot. And, you know, and these are these are planned way ahead of time. And space is huge. So uh, it would have been cool if Bangle knew who he was, because what's called infamous in space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, the, 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 what are they called? The, the Gokaijers? You're right. The Gokaiger pirates the are infamous. Kaizo Kusente? Yeah. They're infamous pirates, you know. Yeah, yeah. The they're, they're, they're Kaizo. He even says it. We're the pirates that everybody talks about. Yeah, the space pirates. I think that's part of the joke, though. Maybe it's not a joke, but that's part of it. Like, who are you? We're the pirates. Everybody talks about what? Every, every time what they say that, everybody's like, "Huh? Huh? <laughs> oh, you'll learn." <laughs> yeah, let's see. Check this out. He does a backflip. Oh, <laughs> backflips. But oh. yeah, that's a nice shot, dude. Of yeah. uh, more really than a. Um, I love Bungle's design too. Yeah, he's there's a better shot. No, it doesn't matter. That's a good yeah. shot right there. That's um, a good shot. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's a good anchor, monster. His anchor sword mm-hmm. looks really nice. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah, is. Marvelous shows up. Uh, so Bungle fucks off, and the rest of the Zuljers meet up with Marvelous, and uh, they're confused. So this is our introduction of it being a Sentai, Sentai, Sentai. Yeah, they think uh, Marvelous is another player in the game. They have yeah. no idea who this man is or what even Sentai is. Yeah. <laughs> they, Which, you know, it's, it's understandable for the Zuma not to know what Sentai is. Yeah. Yamato they, not, and Misao, is, that's weird, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, Navi is here, of course. Yeah. Yay. Uh, I like this shot because um, Leo basically <laughs> gives away the treasure that Marvelous is looking for. He gives away the location and he feels like a dumbass yeah he tells them about the link cube yeah we never knew there was treasure in it oh oh yeah uh, and that plays a thing too uh as a when he takes this the treasure too is like y'all wouldn't even know if it was there if mm-hmm. it wasn't for captain marvelous uh so he gets the treasure and it find, turns out that it's a uh another champion symbol but it's a the grand champion symbol 
uh, and we meet Ketas, who is this wa whale warrior uh, who fought this guy. This is Azald. Oh, do we know that? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they mentioned his name. Uh, no. Well, no, they don't know that yet. That's no. a little bit later in the like, yeah. like, like last four, five, six, seven episodes or so. Um, that he it, it, that is Azel. Uh, we know he's a big bad guy from the back back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and it's this is this is when it was one Earth, right? Yeah, everything was combined. This is when I guess humans and Zoomans were. I'm going to say these are tribal times. Maybe we're a caveman at the time. Who yeah, knows? Probably. Mm -hmm. I, I want to say because it looks like ancient dinosaur times. There's a volcano and everything. Yeah, I guess. Um, active volcanoes, which they can activate obviously in our present time, but still, just the feel of it, the yeah. the way it's shot uh, with the the filter, sepia tone, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's very ancient. It was a long, long time ago. And this is the ancestor of the Zeoders. This is kind of where they come from. Mm -hmm. um, so he inherits the powers of Zeo Whale. And he he uh, freezes the big bad guy in stasis. Mm -hmm. um, so he's stuck like that. And he gets basically shipped off to Earth. Because the Mecha Whale shoots it up in Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Zeo Whale? Yeah, he oh, so like shoots it up in space. Kind of like an immortal being. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he can't really do anything. Yeah. Um, which after, actually mm -hmm. makes sense. Um, it makes sense. Um, just for future thing, it makes sense about like because he is immortal, but something happens that kind of not makes him immortal no more, or where he could, uh, how they could be. It just makes. We'll get to it, I guess. It yeah. just makes it makes sense. Jesus, the season's good. Uh yeah, dude, they they wrote this fuck this. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, it's good. Um, so even after all this, Gokaiger, marvelous Gokai Red still wants to take the treasure. Um, so we can see him busting out his changes, and it's a funny joke that just like how they can turn into their animals, and Michan has three animals, and um, Yamato has two. Um, marvelous over here transforms in front of them four different times because that's what Gokaiger does. Mm -hmm. um, That's their thing. So uh, Misao being Misao is depressed about that. Yeah. Oh, we see a flash, quick su uh, pr surprise appearance by Guy uh, Ikari Guy Go Kai Silva, who is uh, <laughs> the fanboy in all of us. I I always like his character a lot because I you know that's I guess if we're a member we'll be geeking out like that too. Yeah. <laughs> and he gets to be one then yeah he's a great character oh yeah, we'll talk like about go another time though yeah 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 but he's uh, there it's a good shot that's, uh, that's a... <laughs> he's asking for uh the ranger keys from the tokujers which this is a huge spoiler for tokuger but that's fine yeah that's fine that's a huge point <laughs> but yeah that's the what go kaijus do um, they're asking for the other seasons that came after them pretty much for yeah. their key mm -hmm. it looks like they're wearing the little clothes too. Ah, okay. I love yeah. Tokuger. Yeah, Tokuger's. That's. We'll talk about that probably on another episode or another uh, video. But mm -hmm. that that season is like that's all seasons are really good. But man, Tokuger stands out. Yeah, a lot for me. Like I really, really like that season a lot. When you were talking about the emotional stuff that this season goes through, Zuoger. Mm -hmm. Um, I still give it to Tokuger because that one actively made me like tear up a couple times in a couple episodes. Yeah, Tokuger. you know what? Mm -hmm. Speaking of being emotional too, uh, the one I guess if you want to tear up or get choked up on the season that did it for me, I did did happen into Tokuger for me, but mostly, dude, for me it was Q Rangers. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, but I teared up so much during Q Ranger. It's just like I don't know. It's very the red lucky's very passionate in that one too yeah and i don't know it's just the the way things are happening i i teared up probably mostly in that one than i can say the other ones okay. like through the season usually it's like towards end of the end uh, end of a sentai season some of the emotional stuff comes yeah uh, a lot of stuff happens in q rangers that make you want to just tear up sometimes so um yeah just an emotional roller coaster sometimes which i love yeah um again this is a kid show 
It's a it's a kid show, dude. But it written man, it hits. Yeah, it's written by adults. Yeah. <laughs> so they know how to tug on those heartstrings, <laughs> just like uh, Disney movies can sometimes hit you uh, in the heart. Yeah, and just like just like anything, just because it's for kids doesn't mean yeah. it's only for kids. Yeah, dude. If you can relate or feel, I mean, you're just feeling compassionate. I mean, you tear up on anything. It could be adult. It could be kids. It's emotion in it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Kids. Speaking yeah. of. Yeah, it's kids. Look at that. He's asking kids uh, for... Uh, hey, dude, man. <laughs> so, uh... I can't get into that, it. Yeah, what's that? Try to be spoiler, but it is spoiler, but, you know, we'll give it to you to figure out. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, uh, the go catchers end up meeting up with the rest of those human. Mm-hmm. The oldgers, and uh, that's a, that's a really cool shot. The song, the music right here. Yeah. 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 Pirate thing kicks in, and you know what? Uh, what's going down? Even their entrance walking up was really, really nice too. Yeah. And uh, Luca twirling her swords, doing her thing, her little uh, mannerisms. Yeah. Um, so then we see the Zuldgers, uh Sorry, the Zuldgers, The Gokaiju use a uh, key from each season behind after them. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Go Busters, uh, Kyoyujer, Tokyujer, and Nininja. And that's uh, just a cool shot because uh, the hammer's too heavy for Doc. Yeah. <laughs> it was a heavy hammer uh, into Kyoyujer, uh pink. I, mm-hmm. I mean, Tokyujer's thing is, I mean, uh, they switch colors. Mm-hmm. So they can switch like abilities and mm-hmm. they can have each, wep- uh, each other's weapons. So, like, one of the girls switched to one of the guys who carries the heavy axe and she couldn't pick it up either. It yeah. was really heavy for her. So, it's funny they make a joke out of it too, like how heavy it is. Yeah. And that's part of Hikari's character. Sorry, we're going to talk about Tokyo a little bit. That's part yeah. of his character too, that he's he's a hard worker, right? Like, he's, yeah. he's a serious. Yeah, he's a he's serious, hard worker, kind of like focused student. Yeah, he's he was the, he's the smart one, I guess you could say. There's always kind of like the smart guy in Sentai groups, and mm-hmm. Hickory's their kind of like level-headed kind of guy. Yeah, he stays level-headed, and he likes to think things through. Yeah, usually that's reserved for blues, but <laughs> sometimes sometimes blues are too cool. But uh, yeah, it's cool to see them all uh, transform into their um, the four of the seasons that came after them. Yeah. And they chose really good colors because um, blue is the ninjinger and their thing is a sword. And yeah, and Joe from Gokaiger, he's he's a sword guy, so yeah, that's good. And look at and Joe's pose right there. You know, he always keeps his one hand in yeah. the back, mm-hmm. so he still keeps it right there. So yeah. that's really cool. They, yeah. I like how they put their own personalities onto the characters too. The Gokaigers put their personalities. Yeah. I love Doc. Doc. Every time he transforms into any kind of like uh, other previous ranger, he puts his own little, he puts his dock on it. He puts yeah. the dock player on it. He's a goofy guy, and I really so like good. it. Too. The way he fights, too. Jesus. Oh. And this is just a cool fight. This is cool symbolism of uh, Zero Eagle versus uh, uh, Red, Red Hawk. Hawk. Jetman. Don't get me started on Jetman. No, <laughs> that's another one. Damn. Uh, Don't get me started. I loved that's really cool that they have them two fight yeah. each other Cause they have, co- yeah because right before this they were flying that's why they're that's why it's these two yeah, yeah he yeah. was flying which marvelous far away using red hawk's power and yamato followed using his equal power and then of I course about yamato's sword too like he doesn't have like the typical <laughs> sword no uh, he, like he gets his own chart he has sword. like a, a whip sword kind of like ivy's the Ivy's, in, uh, yeah, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's probably the most famous thing you can get it from was her weapon, which yes. is a really cool weapon. So I'm sorry, everybody who had to imagine Ivy in their head right now, but that's what we're <laughs> talking about. Oh, uh, yeah, she stands out. <laughs> she surely does stands out. If That's uh, all he has, though, is a sword. Sword. Uh, the sword. Uh, so, yeah, this is the traditional versus Go Ranger, the first Sentai, and you gotta Yamato go wins. You got to go through the first one. And you can see here the slash on his hand. Uh, so Yamato, we mentioned this earlier, he'll go out of his way to help even when he's fighting somebody. Um, and he cut up uh, Marvelous's hand and he, he sort of, instead of getting the treasure back, he goes to help Yamato and Yamato does this and he blasts him. Yeah, he straight up shoots him. Calls him soft. Yeah. Um, 
Because we all know Marvelous is not a soft kind of guy. No. He's kind of like uh, the badass, you could say. He's a badass. He kind of he's a pirate. Yeah, you know. So he's he's a uh, he's uh, he's gonna really try to take take this treasure from what we know. Uh, but we do find out from Yamato that he was holding back before. That Yamato was holding back before. Mm -hmm. Which is not a surprise at all because as we've been talking about, he washed a general, basically two generals. Uh, the second one just managed to be able to re revive. Um, yeah. But we can see, yeah, M Yamato was strong on his own. <laughs> yeah, was plenty of strong. Just because he's showing Marvelous just because he's compassionate doesn't mean he's weak. It doesn't yeah. make him yeah. And that's that's what Marvelous is probably thinking that he's so compassionate that it makes him weak. But if in essence that's what makes Yamato even better than him, because he bested Marvelous. Even yeah. though Marvelous, you could say he wasn't really trying to you know, Marvelous is not a bad, bad guy, obviously. No. He's but I, yeah. I think what we have here is Marvelous from the end of Gokaiger, which no shit. But um it's the kind of marvelous where he is more compassionate and he does actually like earth now and everything. Mm -hmm. So in my opinion, this whole like special, the two episodes is marvelous teaching the Zyolders to fight for what they want or yeah. fight what they have to. Um, mm -hmm. So I think this whole time, obviously he wasn't going to keep this treasure. It was all a yeah. test. It was all them teaching their senpai. Um, senpai? Kohai. Yeah, uh, Kohai's you know, the, the uh, apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I appreciate a lot. Like, because in in the Gokaiger season, every time they had a guest star, that's what they were doing. They were mm -hmm. teaching the Gokaigers each episode. You know, to be a Sentai, you got to do this, this, that, and the other, this, this, that. And I feel like Gokaiger showing up in Zuldjer was sort of a kick, a kick, excuse me, um, to push the Zuldjers to go even further. To, you know fight like i said for what they want what they what they what they need to get yeah yeah definitely uh yeah i mean like you said they learn from in their season what it means to be a sentai and you know it's their job to if they uh to teach the others like you said no sentai knows that they're a sentai i mean they say it mm -hmm. but they don't yeah. know about each other these are all taken places you could say in different well, what Zenkaiser let us know that there are multiverses. Yeah. Some are kind of, you can get kind of convoluted because some people meet each other and you're like, how is it if they meet each other then? But, uh, I mean, we don't worry at all about that, you no, know? No. We're not, we, we don't, it's not that, we don't go that deep. No. <laughs> it's not that deep. But, yeah, it's really cool that uh, Marvelous is kind of training uh, Yamato and maybe Marvelous learned something too because they do meet each other again. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that could <laughs> be do. something we could do with 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 Tony for sure. Is the super strongest battle? Yeah, that's a good one, and that's it's so actually good. and he knows about Yamato. It's not like oh, I see this guy again. It's like yeah. no, I know of him. I know, I know this guy. That's one of my favorite parts. Is everybody's introducing himself, but Marvelous being Marvelous doesn't. So Yamato goes, oh, and that's Captain Marvelous. Yeah, that's so, Marvelous. Yeah, <laughs> um, the red okay. or red in some people's book. <laughs> Uh, this is a good part too. You can see uh, this. Well, you like this part because uh, Misa was like depressed that he doesn't have anybody to fight, and then Gokai Silver shows up. Look what I never. Okay, yes, it'd be yes. Mm -hmm. Like like uh, Sela and yep. uh, Luca button heads because yep. they're the tough girls in yep. their group. Mm -hmm. They're the tough. Girls. Sometimes there's always a tough girl in sometimes groups, and those are like the cool ones to me. Yeah, and then uh, you see Doc being Doc, his weapons all the way over there, and he's got to get body slam. <laughs> <laughs> and Joe's being cool, fighting with his sword. Yeah, and look at uh, Amu and uh, I always forget Gokai Pink's name. Ahim. Uh, I Ahim. Ahim. Uh, a H I M. Ahim. 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 And yeah. I'm just kind of like ah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Sela and Luca back there is like a highlight for sure. Yeah, that one. <laughs> They're not even fighting. <laughs> yeah, well, that and the dark one stands out a yeah. lot more. But yeah. uh, they're not even fighting. They're just button heads. <laughs> you have a stronger will. They're doing the you anime know? shit. They're doing the anime stuff. I have a stronger will than you, huh? <laughs> My will's stronger, and I'll win like that. Um, this is this is a good wigs? shot because I like these two. Yeah, them too. Oh, they're, yeah. they're my favorite they're women here. 
Oh, um, I know Luca. Oh yeah, Malachi Michi, number uh-huh. one forever. Um, yeah, uh, one. These are fun moments here where uh, you can see how the personalities interact with each other. Uh, Leo's like a ladies' man type person. Yeah, yeah so he's, he's so he's they're cute. Uh-huh. So you know him being over there, him being a Leo, you know. Oh, sure. <laughs> That's uh, what lies do. <laughs> and then Luca and Sella at the same time clock him. Yeah. Which is yeah, it's that same character. It's perfect. It's great. Yeah, them too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is hey, Joe. Joe. <laughs> this is handsome man. Handsome for a man. He's pretty handsome for a man. Yeah. Uh, I just want to get good shots of each character, each of the Gokaijers out of suit too. Uh, yeah. Guy asking for help and Misao being Misao. Yeah, he's kind of like you know down on himself. <laughs> so yeah, here's a uh, Yamato helping uh, fix his hand. This mm-hmm. is a good shot. It is a good shot of them too. Yeah, like his mother is looking all stern and stuff, mm-hmm. like he is. Yamato has his eyes down. You're not supposed to put your eyes onto an enemy, but he knows that's not an enemy. Yeah, he can really feel the kindness in in Marvelous's heart. Like yeah. he he mentions to him, like you could have, like Marvelous could have ran with the treasure at some point when mm-hmm. they were fighting all those villains in the forest. Mm-hmm. But he decided to stay and fight too. And Yamato took that as like, okay, you're not pure evil. You're not you're not in it just for the treasure. Yeah, if you was, you would have just taken off. You could have transformed into Red Hawk and you know went out your way. But you wanted to be a distraction. You wanted to help. Yeah. We all know Marvelous, so, you yeah. know, he's not going to have another Sentai team fighting by themselves. He might act like it, but, no. you know, he's not like that. Now, this is where we see the, I just like his bewildered face, like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which brings you into why, Mar- like, in that, uh, I forgot, what was the movie called? What they're in, again, Super... Uh, uh, the Strongest... The Strongest or strongest, something? The world. Uh... Well, the movie that they're both in, I forgot the name of the movie, but uh, they all decide who wants to be a leader, and Marvelous wants to make Yamato the leader. Oh, like, yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, he yeah, yeah. He already knows about Yamato and what's he about, and probably why he will be the best leader. I mean, Goku Red's a good leader, but he's not a leader like Yamato is, though. No. Like, he's a different, like, Super when I think Sentai, of leader, Super Sentai Strongest Battle, sorry. Yeah, Super Sentai Strongest Battle, yes, that movie is great. Uh... It has a lot of my favorite characters uh, that get showcased a lot uh, in that show. If we talk um, about that, dude, the first episode, I'm going to be talking about so much because it's Patsuda and Ichigo and Yamato. Two of my like absolute favorite reds, but go ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I forgot Patsuda and Ichigo is there, huh? Hell yeah. He meets Yamato, dude. That's... Yeah. yeah. He's a good leader, too. Yeah. Uh, Ichigo. He's one of the good reds. Uh, oh, but you were saying, yeah, a- so Marvelous wants Yamato to be the leader of that team in that in that movie. Yeah. He knows about his strengths and weaknesses and I feel like I mean, you know, Marvelous is a very strong red. Um mm-hmm. people like him for his attitude most of the time, but mm-hmm. like Yamato's leadership is just he's a he's just since he's so compassionate and stuff like that, he can be a good leader. You know uh, what that's like? That's like the what? Avengers. Yeah. It's like Iron Man going take it cap and that's exactly here. Uh, exactly. Marvelous is Iron Man and Cap is uh, Yamato. Uh, Yamato. Yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's exactly that. Yeah, it's great. You know you know that Iron Man can be a leader, but it's just like, it's so natural for Yamato to be a mm-hmm. leader, though. Mm-hmm. It's just like, like you said, the naturality that comes off of him. Yeah. Just, like, he's just a natural. Yeah, it's just, great. And it's like, he's not even trying to be, but he is. But yeah, it's great, and he yeah, like you said, he he was holding back against uh, uh, marvelous, and we know marvelous is not no pushover. So for him to hold back and you know to still give him a fight like he did, yeah, marvelous yeah. is dumbfounded by that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even Yamato was like, yeah, pirates don't hold back. Like pirates are real. Like no shit. Yeah, yeah, he goes, you're real strong. He goes, you're strong like the stories and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. Well, there's Doc. Yeah, real quick. Ahim, Doc, baby girl Luca. Mm-hmm. There's the Gokaijers, that fucking wig that Joe has on. Uh, <laughs> nice wig. <laughs> I love the jacket. <laughs> yeah. The, more zippers, please. More zippers on that. It doesn't zippers. have enough, not enough zippers on that jacket. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so yeah, so Bangle, like we mentioned before, he has the power to bring back memories, and he gets one of the Gokaiger's memories, Gokai Red's memory, sorry, and oh. uh, brings back basically a lot of final bosses from the past. Uh, we can see there from Shinkinger, from Tokyuger, from Go Busters, from Kyoyuger, and from Gosager. Mm. Now, this is interesting to me that I've never really voiced out loud to anybody. Um, yeah. But outside of the main bad guy from Gosager, all of the rest are main bad guys from after Gokaiger. Except for Shinkinger, too, my bad. So, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so Zeto, Enter, Escape, and um, Deboth. Okay. Um, Kyoyuger, Go Busters, and Tokyuger. Those bosses are after Gokaiger. Why does Marvelous have memories of them? Uh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we, don't, we don't question it. Maybe it's yeah. just because like, powers he has. I, and... have, I have an answer that I made up in my head, but it's not like official or anything like that. But in my opinion, because Gokaigers are Gokaigers in the way they are, they were here when these battles happened on those seasons. Mm -hmm. They like witnessed it, or like you know, they're still mentoring. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, like they couldn't not help. They they didn't help at all. There was no Gokaiger in any of those seasons at all. But I like to imagine that you know, somewhere in the back of Marvelous was like him coming here to like check out, like oh you know what's Earth fighting this time? Well, how do we help or whatever? But he was there for the Shikinjers, right? Wasn't he? Like then they yes. Oh, he, 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 was there? he didn't fight him, but yes, he was there. He was there. So there, you could just say he might have saw the guy. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the Shinkinger and the Ghost Hager one, I'll just, sure, he he knows about those because they were before his time. Yeah. Whatever. But the ones after yeah. is like, how do you explain how? that? But yeah. that's that's why in my head, it's like, oh no, go, uh, you know, the Ghost Hagers wanted to keep track on Earth. Uh, so they yeah. they saw that stuff. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they keep tabs on Earth. They probably keep on going back just to see if it's safe. Or yeah. not. Yeah. yeah, man, but good suits, good everything. Yeah, this is cool. These are cool bad guys. Zed is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I love his design. Uh, I'm not sure who the, who is the uh, person in green. I'm not sure on that villain. That's Deboss. Uh, he is uh, the bad, last bad guy from Kyoyuger. Okay. And you'd be forgiven because he, maybe in that form, is two episodes total. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Because the whole the whole show, he's like uh, fossilized, but he doesn't even look like that. It's a totally different form. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> but yeah, these are the bad of the bad. These are yeah. final bosses. Yeah, right these here. are final bosses. And you know, Yamato has to fight some. Of them. Yeah. Yamato <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this is a good shot of everybody all together. Yeah, you see Marvelous with the the treasure right there. He has a, still has a treasure in his hand, holding on to it. And this was the point, I think, where true trust was formed. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, the Zyolgers are still not like trying to get get the thing from him, mm -hmm. and he's not like guarding it. He's not like, "Hey, don't don't take it from me." But here, he asks them, "Yamato, this is what this guy wants. If I take it with me into space, he's gonna come with us, and you don't have to deal with this anymore. Mm -hmm. You want us to do that?" And Yamato's like, "No, dude, that's ours. That's." Earth, yeah. you know, it's supposed to be with us, and the humans are like, Yeah, that's part of the human history and everything. Um, yeah. so then he gives it to him. So I think that was the whole like another test by Marvelous, yeah, <laughs> another test. That's a good test, too, because he goes, Hey, dude, I can take your problems away, mm -hmm. but Yamato's like, I'd rather face them pretty mm -hmm. much, I'd rather mm -hmm. face them straight up, and then he goes, That's the right answer, yeah. <laughs> And let's make it showier than usual. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, and then the famous Gokai change. See guys, little socks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is five years later, and they still got it. Yep. Gokai uh, change. And then these guys. Oh no. Oh no, And then this cool little shot of everybody. And yep. Doc can't keep his feet straight. He keeps jumping, hopping around right here. Yeah, this dog being his answer. You, you see the personalities right there. Look at Amu with her proper. Uh, is it Amu? What's her? I keep on Gokai Pink. I am. Aim's properness. Yeah. You know, Luca's uh, swag. Yeah. You know, like, like this is going to be easy. Yeah. You know, Joe's military because so he's like kind of like information. You know, oh, yeah. Joe yeah, yeah. and Marvelous are kind of like 
the same person in a sense. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and guys ready to go. I love the shot. Yeah. You see, their, I love how they put personalities onto them like that, too. Uh, and then, and then there's one of the best suit. outfits. Oh, my God. This suit is so good. The design. Like, even, okay, you. I know you people got on animal print, like, mm -hmm. on their suit. But, like, with, especially on this one, how can you not like it? It looks yeah. really good. Because it goes through the whole, I guess because it's, like, throughout the whole uniform. It, and not just, like, a face. Yeah. Like, tatted on their stomach. I mean, to their chest. But man, you the coattails help too. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna say anything with a cape. If you have a cape and Sentai mm -hmm. coattails, like you're automatically you are a good suit. It's gonna. I hit. don't care where. Yeah, it's gonna hit. It's gonna hit. Especially me. I, I'm a sucker for capes mm -hmm. uh, and video games or yeah. superhero stuff like that. I know because they're not because they're insufficient. <laughs> yeah. I guess in a way. Like, you wouldn't use that in a fight because someone can grab it or something, mm -hmm. but you're so good that you have it, and yeah. you just look cooler. And it just looks cool. Yeah, it just looks, it's all it is. It looks It looks, yeah, it, it looks, it, so it sick. looks cool. Yeah, this looks good. All right? It's a hero. <laughs> um, That's why King Oger, everybody has a cape. It's pretty cool. Uh, like a shoulder oh, cape. Shoulder cape. I love mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. Automatic win. But yeah, they do. Uh, he gets the powers of the well, which makes him also fight differently, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, if I could make a gift, I would. Jesus. Uh, we haven't seen this. I mean, we have. It's happened in the show, but we haven't talked about it. The old slash, which is their like final cannon type thing before they get to the actual yeah. final cannon. Yeah, their bazooka yeah. move. Yes, their finisher. Mm -hmm. They they usually do on enemies. Uh, uh, he shoots the the old whale cannon and it hits the moon. Just go. I love. Real quick. I love. Mm -hmm. I love that they show the power of his his cannon mm -hmm. uh it's they didn't have to do that but they did yeah. they show you just the power of uh the whale even marvelous is impressed by it like he couldn't like wow yeah he says that later oh on after yeah he, yeah he's like are, he says seriously yeah. yeah that's what he said yeah seriously he goes, okay. like yeah i'm a tell dude yeah uh, so this is one of those things where uh, the Gokaijers pop up in the Zuldra's cockpits for their mech. Yeah, they're very surprised too by that. They're yeah. like, what the heck? You Look at Doc. Doc's dumbass, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue's being all cool. He's sitting on the little... I think uh, Ahim took Amu's seat straight up, or they are in there together, maybe? He, it looks like she's the majority of the seat, though. Yeah. <laughs> Get um, over. Luca's like, I don't want to touch this guy. I'm going to be touching... Me hanging right, up no, here. Creep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, I'm just going to be right here. Go, guy Go straight up on his... Uh, yeah, on he's on his up. lap. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's like, I'm about this. <laughs> oh, this is a good shot. I, I love yeah. having two Sentais meet each other every time. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> it's really good. Um, this is another good shot. You see all of them in their cockpits here. Mm -hmm. Really highlights how different the greens are too, and the blues too. Yeah, different colors of blue, mm -hmm. and obviously pinks. I mean, would you consider I? She's pink, right? I, she, I they're both she's, pink. She's white, or she's white. She's white, white but she has pink accents. Pink accent. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, like you can see here, her claw is pink. So they mm -hmm. they play with that. But also, uh, Duel of the World is not purple, but his color is purple whenever they purple. do like energy attacks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, but yeah, the different greens, the lime green and like a forest dark green. Mm -hmm. really nice. Look at guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gokai Galleon. One good shot. That's a good shot. Even the Zeodras are surprised by when they see the Galleon, the pirate ship, yeah. pop up. It was nice seeing it. They didn't have to bring it in there. They could have just like left. But the Galleon was there. They get back on their ship. Like the fact that that was there means they could have also made their mech. But yeah, nah. exactly. But now nah. they <laughs> they were the jump into their mech. <laughs> yeah. Um, the they leave Navi on accident. Uh, but this was fun because you 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 maybe notice something about this guy, the parrot. Yeah, rainbow parrot. Rainbow parrot, just like Sechen. And then there's that parrot, and it. You know what? I mean, I know this is going to other stuff too, but um. Maybe spoilerless for uh, Zenkaiger, uh, mm -hmm. if anybody's planning on watching that. Um, mm -hmm. But 
the god who is in that who created the multiverses uh-huh. of we could say Sentai was in a parrot. <laughs> like he was first, right? Wasn't he in uh he was Bokwas or not Bokwas, he was the Oh Bokwas, Jerry. yeah, yeah, yeah. Giggy, 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 uh, or Giggy? I think that's like Giggy, 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 yeah. Giggy, 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 yeah, 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 Giggy. Yeah, he was controlling that thing for the longest, and now I don't know. It, it has a thing with parrots, I guess. They have a it. It's pretty cool. I mean, not a, everything has a parrot person, but I, in these last seasons, it feels like might be something to it. Yeah, you know, parrots show up up again. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a rainbow parrot, kind of like Seichan, and Seichan's kind of modeled after uh, Navi, in a in a in a way, uh, you know. Yeah, I mean they robot, have robot. they have the um the parent the sorry the the bird navigator a lot like that one and then then uh, Time Ranger that Time Ranger yeah Time Ranger uh, yeah uh, what's his name uh Tick Tack 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 yeah, yeah. Tick or Tack Tack Hi. <laughs> yeah, he talks. He kind of talks like this. He's a very different character from the others. <laughs> yeah, he's that crazy. No, oh, he's Sechan. not. <laughs> oh, Sechan, my heart. Oh man, <laughs> I love Sechan. Six member. <laughs> he's, oh. he's a six member. Dude. Oh, like, the way well, jumped not... up and down, dude. Yeah, I haven't seen the crossover movie uh, yet with the uh, Kira Major. No, with the uh, uh, you know the Go Kaijers with the uh, Zenkaiger. And stuff like that. I haven't seen that movie yet. I think it's... Is it with the Cure Major That was movie? the Cure Major movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I haven't seen that yet. I want to see it because I want to see, like, the pirates with the other pirate. Yeah. So, but, uh... You want to see Zox uh, get his shit kicked in. Yeah, he will. I want to see Marvelous. <laughs> I don't know, man. Zox is pretty cool, too. He's one of my favorite six. Yeah. Uh, in terms... uh, he's Yeah, he's up there as one of my favorite six. Takuja's six is probably one of the best, too. Akira. He's just, Akira is so good. He's yeah. such a good character too. Uh, but anyways, uh, oh okay, yeah. Oh, so yeah, that that was Go Kaiser. That was fun. Uh, the next episode I wanted to highlight personally, uh, as I was going through getting pictures for it, I realized, oh, I don't really have a lot of pictures to take from it, but it's one of my favorite episodes. Um, Christmas time and the Zyoldiers decide they learn about Christmas and they want to get something for Mario because Mario has been so nice to let them stay at his house all year long. Um, and they don't know him as strangers, but he's still such a nice person. Um, so they get together and they go to the store and they try to get this sweater. This sweater, <laughs> yep. I think it's really rainbow. nice. It's it's yeah, it's rainbow again. It's it's kind mm-hmm. of ugly, but that's again these are these are kids, <laughs> the mm-hmm. me. Um, mm-hmm. So when they pull out their money, all of them have like almost nothing except for Sela, which again I think that speaks to her character. She's like the m- mature, serious one. <laughs> Yeah, she has a whole bill. Uh, she has a whole bill. Yen? <laughs> uh, yeah. So um, they go and they get a part-time job to help pay for them. That's just a good shot of Sela. Um, they're selling these Christmas cakes because in uh, in Japan, that's what you do on Christmas is you eat uh, cakes. Mm. Um, but yeah, just, just right. to signify it's a Christmas <laughs> episode and everything. Uh, they go and they 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 get the sweater. It was for eighty four thousand yen, and they get to it, and it's actually eighty six forty because they forgot to account for the tax. Again, that's a very childish thing. That I it's 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 it to me it's so cute. Um, yeah. That look at how wide eyed they are. They're so happy. They're gonna get this for him. They're gonna make Mario happy. Look at them. Yeah. <sighs> Even Le- like especially Leo looking at the. The worker and Amu, they're so they're so hyped for the sweater. Yeah. Um, but it turns out they don't have enough. Yep. Um, see, oh, I forgot about sales tax. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> um, so Yamato comes up and he pays the rest because um, he also owes Mario. Because again, um, whenever his mom died, uh, he ran away from where she was because uh, we're gonna get into it soon. Uh, his father yeah. couldn't be there. Uh, yep. so he's mad at his dad, which is why he's living with Mario. Yeah. Um, and then again, Mario didn't have to, but he's, he's, he's helped raise his kid for, I guess it's been over 10 years, right? Something like that. Cause he was a kid. Yep. It's his sister's, uh, uh son. So, mm-hmm. you know, uncle Mario's there, uh, for the win. Yeah. Um, being a responsible uncle. So they leave the, the mall and, uh, they get, 
they meet the, the big bad and this is this is why it's my favorite episode it's because or one of my favorite episodes is because mario actually finally finds out everything um so he sees them being beat up there and he says yamato and his first reaction is a weapon what can i use as a weapon because he sees his he sees his big monster he, he sees his uh nephew in trouble with his friends and his first instinct is oh how can i help fight how can i go do something about this I love that that's his first thing. Yeah. Instinct is to help, especially mm-hmm. that your family member out there, like through that, you know? Yeah. So here and we, then, we just saw them henching. Yeah. He saw him too. And he's like, what the heck? There's little tidbits that uh, yeah. also before this, like they did transform to their animal selves in front of uh, Mario, but mm-hmm. they played it off as like, it's a magic trick. Yeah. Or it's, uh, you he's, know, it's not real. He's it's still costume. sleepy or something or yeah. You're so sleepy, you're uh, imagining this. But I like this he look. Goes... <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead. He almost looks pissed off. Like, what? This whole time? Because uh, there was that one episode earlier, earlier on where Mario gets kidnapped and Yamato comes to save him. But at that point, he just knows him as Zio Eagle or, yeah. you know, the red hero or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. So now he knows, oh, shit, it was Yamato that came and saved me. Mm-hmm. I just like how, like, He's almost pissed about it, it looks like, but he's yeah. he's more in shock and like that's like that's his reality now. Yeah. I think he's just more like he wish he would have known. Yeah. Or something. At mad because he's mad because he didn't tell him about it. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna say. But he like you said, it's a lot of emotion confused. Looks kinda mad. hmm I mean, he looks very confused. He's like, What the heck? Yeah. What's going on here? Um so he was gonna he's leaving out of town he's not gonna be able to make the christmas party they're having he's going to canada um for work uh so there's an excuse for them not to run into him until the next episode but he does see them so there's a reason he's not like they can't just after the the battle go home and he's there like oh i saw you guys no there's that wait where oh he's out of town they don't know that he saw them and mm-hmm. he's sort of like living even in Canada, you know, like I said, he went to Canada in Canada. He's like, damn, I saw this. And this is like, again, my reality. He's living with that. Um, mm-hmm. So in the next episode, his reaction again is to create his own suit and he becomes your human. Um, it's so fake. Sure. It's not real. You don't have a shot of that. No, I didn't get a shot of that. No, because I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to rewatch that episode, but that, that- Outfit's funny though. It is funny. It's his face on his. <laughs> um, but it's uh, it's it's again his reaction is to oh I'm gonna fight with them. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna, you know, they need help. I'm gonna help them. And I really like that again. That's the yeah. that, that's the reaction. And, and and also him being zero human is a homage to a lot of other Sentai's that had like makeshift kind mm-hmm. of like Sentai people who are kind of like friends with the group. Yeah. And. Then they learn about them, or they probably been know, and they want to be part, and they make up their own costume. I think yeah. in Operator they did that Operator, too. Yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was another one. I I think they did that, but I can't remember. Maybe something. I can't. Maybe it was only. Yeah, I don't. I I'm sure there's something else. Uh. Anyway. Uh, this is also another episode because when. Yamato calls out Zio Whale, he sees Azaldo and he attacks him. Why is that? Well, it turns out, and oh, this is a good shot, actually. This, this, I do like this mech a lot. Oh, yeah. He's big and sick. Uh, it's just a shame that the legs just, that's what they are. There's not much to it. But again, that's the, the virtue of it being all cubes. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Uh, I wish, um, I, I don't know if we do have a shot of uh just the whales uh mech too. I like that one a lot. Uh, I like how the mech. oh when he's yeah yeah yeah. I don't like, have yeah, that. It's okay. Uh, I just like the little spout. It comes out. Mm-hmm. You know, little whale spout. It's right there on the shoulder. Cool. And yeah, whales super mm-hmm. super huge. Too. Yeah. Um. Obviously, so huge you could become his own mech. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, Mario is like accepting what he just saw, and that's. That's how it is, and um, it's in the background. I like just like that shot that the mech is in the background there. Okay, um, 
So we now know that Zalzal is the big, uh, one of the big bads, and he's actually who the original Zul fought back in the day. Mm-hmm. Uh, we find out that Jenna saved him from being that crystallized state. Mm-hmm. Um, he injected him with some of his own energy and everything like that. And just to show how serious Azal is, he's destroying the city. Um, Yamato goes to the hospital where Azal is unknowingly destroying. Um, so he goes to help save his dad, and that's when we find out uh, he knows Bard, which is where Yamato got his original Zuo Ego energy from. Mm-hmm. Um, because it all connects. Uh, turns yeah. out oh, that Yamato's yeah. <clears throat> turns out that Yamato's dad helped save Bard when he get got here to the world. He got um, attacked too, right? Attacked yeah, by humans. Mm-hmm. So Bard right. also has issues with humans. But again, running in the family, um, Yamato's mm-hmm. dad just compassionate. And he helps out this Birdman thing. Even though uh, he knows his wife's in the hospital he's, too. She's in the hospital. He was about to go to see her in the hospital because she's on her deathbed. Uh, and we find out this is the incident that has him skip her actually dying. So that's and, why only Yamato's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, you, you know, Yamato hated his dad. Yeah. Forever. Mm-hmm. For the, uh, obviously, into his adulthood. Like, because, like calling him, <clears throat> you're not my father. Yeah. Because his dad mom died without him being there. Because he thinks he's so dedicated to his job that he didn't want to go. Yeah, which kind I mean, of he, is true. Yeah, I mean, he he lives the life of a doctor, and in real yeah. life, those people don't really see probably their family not much often because they're out helping. Doctors work long shifts, long hours because yeah. they have to. They're out there mm-hmm. saving lives. Mm-hmm. So you know that on top of you could say like him not being there for the like even like your job's more important than mom is just like who's dying. It, you you can play. Yamato looks like at an age, he's not a kid kid. He looks like a, like, I don't know, 10, 11 yeah. at that age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he will, will remember that. And, yeah. and he holds on he holds on to that hate for a very, very long time, which is not a Yamato's character, probably to do that, but family hits you harder. Yeah. Uh, it can hurt you more than any other person. So, like, you know, I love that aspect in this season, too. Mm-hmm. Like I said, that's it's relatable, like Yamato, like having kind of resentment with the family, not saying that, you know, like you should or anything, but like just having that and it's just just really helps you connect uh, with him uh, even more to me. Yeah. It's it's uh, it, it's it's a it's a childlike reaction for sure. For sure. But, it, it but also... even, the hold it, even the hold it into adulthood and not like coming to terms with it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. It, he. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you're good. Um, he, 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 mat- he he's forced to mature faster because of this. Mm-hmm. Because he lost his mom. You know, she died. That's something you really have to accept. And his dad couldn't be there for him. So that sort of um, jump-started his maturity, I think. And that's why and he is the way call- he is now. For sure. Um, you can also go back to Mario. And probably that's why he became like a happy go lucky person because Mario raised him from then on. Yeah. Uh, uh, to be like that. And we all know how Mario acts. So. Mm-hmm. And I think Mario influenced his choice in pursuing animals. Yes, definitely because did. Mario's like a, a an animal ph- photographer or something like that. Or surveyist um but yamato he's still with uh he's a zoologist right Hello? yeah he's a zoologist oh, okay. yes i'm sorry yeah yeah he's a zoologist um so yeah he went to school so he, for all that and everything yeah, yeah he has a degree <laughs> uh protecting animals but yeah like he like you were talking about uh uh, Yamato's dad say Bard. Mm-hmm. Bard in turn saves Yamato. Because after and, that incident, Yamato runs away from home. Yeah. And on his way, he gets bodied. He gets hurt. But Bard saves Yamato with his bird energy, and that's how he gets the cube. And and Bard also knew that that was the doctor's son mm-hmm. too. I it, it wasn't some random kid. Yeah. Uh, he decided to save. It, he knew who he was, so he wanted to return the favor <laughs> to his dad by saving his son. And then, like I said, it's all connected. And for him to resent on that, but like the thing is, Yamato realizes too. Uh, 
that if it wasn't for his dad saving Bard, he mm -hmm. would never meet the rest of his members of the group mm -hmm. or none of that stuff. He wouldn't have Zooman power to transform into this yep. uh, being if it wasn't for all these things happening. So like he said, everything's one, everything's connected. Everything's these things connected. are happening. Everything's connected. It happened. Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. but yeah. Oh, uh, like kind of sixes, seventh ranger ish right here. At this yeah. Point. He's like an extra like deck master yeah. or, um, or um, stay Caesar. You can say. Caesar, yeah, like an, extra, like an extra, yeah, extra suit, uh, Sentai suit that goes up there. Deck of Swan, <laughs> Deck of Swan. That only happens, only happens one time, never again. Kind of at the end, for a pose, I think that's it. <laughs> but um, after an X, but yeah, uh -huh. yeah, um, after an X, because one of them counts, the other one doesn't. Mm. Uh, so. They're so yeah, so um that's where this whole thing where we find out they're all connected and everything and, and it's really cool, like you were saying. It's it's it helps tie everything together and it's a really nice um it's a way for Yamato to sort of get closure on it as well. Yeah. Um <clears throat> it's just nice. So we're back to and, the Sentai Star. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Uh I know we don't have a shot of it, but when Bar transforms into his Sentai suit, it's kind of faded. Yeah, which I get, like because he gave most of his power to Yamato. That's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have all the zoom and power. No. So like it's like a faded off, but he still has this. It looks exactly like Yamato. Uh, like orange. Orange. Yeah, it, it, it's orange. I it looks faded to me, like yeah. a faded off red. I mm -hmm. guess that's what orange is. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, and they have the same swords, which was that's a cool scene. With them two using their swords, their chain swords, to yeah. beat the guy. Oh yeah, yeah. Episode. yeah. They're in unison each other doing <clears> the <throat> thing. It's bird. Um, but also for everybody who can see the screen right now, uh, that's why Homeboy has a white in his hair because mm -hmm. he gave his power up. Yeah, he aged. He <clears throat> aged rapidly. Uh, Larry so does actually get gray hair too. Mm -hmm. So we can see that. Uh, they're back to fighting Azeld, Azald, excuse me, and they're trying to get him to beat him because he can resurrect. Uh, but they find his core and they're trying to get his core. Uh, so when Yamato comes back to to the fight, there's these really intense shots where him in the in the background, in a black background, um, with the sword just striking striking away. It's really emotionally intense because he's sort of putting everything together and he sees, oh, that's why my dad couldn't be there, and and you know. Because of that, yeah. this happened, and like you, like you mentioned, like everything sort of connects to each other, and it's really great. Yeah. Um. So he doesn't really say anything during this fight. It's coming out of him. There's a lot of stuff that's hitting him at once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess you could say so. Oh, yeah. Swinging away, and these shots are really nice <laughs> of him doing that. Um. So they fight us all. He's big again. They're in their big mech, and uh, the Zuman take the the whale gun and shoot at him. And they go fight him. They jump out of the mech to chase after the laser that's shot so they can shoot or so they can kill Azald themselves. Nice shots. Which, in my opinion, is, is really good catharsis. Yeah. Because they were finally able to beat the guy who was terrorizing their homeland. Like, they're, th this was their main bad guy. Like he was saying everybody has their own, like, set of bad guys. Yeah. Uh, Azald was definitely the one for the zoom in. And it was just yeah. really refreshing to have them personally get out their mech and beat his ass themselves. Yeah, not, no Yamato help or anything. Yeah. This is their problem to deal with. Yeah. You and know? They, then they dealt with it. And they dealt with it. You know, they finished it for their ancestor. Now, that was know? also a cool part about this season, in my opinion. Um, how we're talking about generals and stuff. Azald, if he wasn't in the cube body or whatever, he basically could have been a main, main bad guy. He was that, definitely on Genesis level. Yeah, that's uh, how that's how strong he was. He, yeah, that's how strong he was. Um, but uh, um, also, I want to get to uh, is uh, I mean, his immortality was stopped by Genesis cells when he made him grow big. Yeah, uh, and he cursed his name, uh, which uh, we'll get into, I guess, towards the end of this. Uh, this um episode mm -hmm. um uh, oh, about oh there it is uh 
But yeah, dude. And also, I know you don't have it too, but one of the best uh, I can remember from the show too, one of the best roll calls uh, I can remember in the show, they do a roll call while they're in their mech, which is so cool. I've never seen that before. Like, they're in their mech, right? And then, you know, champion of the world, and like, he gets up from his seat. Oh, and they man. all do it. I don't know if you remember that episode, I but don't. that... Oh, I gotta find it. Uh, it's really unique. I've never seen that before in Sentai. I only watched a handful of them, but i never seen them roll call within the mech. That, when, that's when they do their roll call. They don't yeah. transform, but they roll call in the mech. And yeah. uh, I can't find the episode of that, but a mm. uh, really cool moment. Uh, I liked it. It yeah. just thinks it's one of the things that stuck out to me. But... Here we go to uh, Genesis right here. So uh, last episode, yeah. They fight Genesis. Final form. <laughs> he was a slug, man. That's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> I like this a lot, this shot a lot, because it's them running, uh, but it turns into the intro. Yes. Uh, which, because the intro is them walking together. Yeah. And this is them running at running. him. It's so good. So here we find out. Uh, the big, big thing is that Genesis is actually composed of a bunch of little Moibus, which is a little henchman from the season. Um, so cool. <coughs> excuse me. Um, yep. So he hates himself, it turns out. He's incredibly insecure, Genesis. Yep. Yeah, very uh, insecure about himself. S so he takes it on everybody and everything else. Yep. Um, so that's where Misao is, is like, I'm like Genesis, you know, he hates himself. He doesn't like how he came to this. And again, Yamato and the rest of the team are like, no, you're not like anything like him. And I really appreciate that his character, this thing that Misao has carries over into the last episode. Like it, it stuck with him that long. Yeah. He, he, it's a continuous struggle for him. And Yamato's there to always like help him through that. Yeah. And that it's just it's just cool. Like Genesis is just a bunch of the mooks put together, and mm -hmm. that's all he is. He's worthless. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty much, and he feels like himself as worthless. Why he chose a person who felt like they're worthless? Mm -hmm. That's why I completely understand you. Yeah, I get it. I get it. How it means to feel that way. <laughs> yeah, yes, he is that, which is really cool for a Sentai villain. Uh, the be like that. It's kind of. It was kind of a big surprise uh, to me mm -hmm. uh, when that happened. To learn mm -hmm. about that, mm -hmm. Genesis is just a bunch of mooks put together, and that's all he is. And like you said, very insecure. He even killed one of his other uh, generals just because they felt compassion for yeah, Genesis. That's what he this shitty like shot is. Yeah, he goes, "You, he doesn't like that that you take pity on him. Like he doesn't want to feel like he's pitiful." Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's a very insecure uh, uh, final boss, which is which is really good. Yeah, this was his right hand man, right hand woman. He's the one who would always uh, make the monsters big. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, he just struck struck her. Just struck her, yeah, for showing compassion for him. Mm -hmm. That's why he struck. He didn't do it because you know like, he just showed him. He said, "That's the worst thing you can do to me." Pretty much. Yeah. Don't feel bad for me. Yeah, he goes. I don't care. She's like pretty much. I don't care what you are and yeah. all this other mm -hmm. stuff and stuff like that. But he didn't like that. Yeah. She probably should have kept her mouth shut, but yeah. he didn't because, you know, she cares for her master. Yeah. Even the bad guys can care, <laughs> you know? Uh, so oh. then we get these awesome roll call shots. I always I love, like the pop. Yeah. I love when the, the actors wear their actual suits. You see them suit up. That, they have the animals come and, like, bite their head to create the helmet. That's mm -hmm. really or you know the swarp over like you see eagle in the back the mm -hmm. eagle comes and swarms over his head and becomes the helmet and the shots in the back with the actor right there yeah and their street uh, like i said the street clothes are really cool but like just showing it yeah. really really nice touch leo uh -huh. <laughs> hey, i like the elephant pose the little trunk right there yeah dude it's so cool. The stomp and everything for his henshin is really nice. That's a really cool shot of her. Yeah, right there, right? Yeah, that's a really cool shot. The battle scars with the pose, the mm -hmm. tiger pose, looks really, really good. And they're all dirty and stuff, too. Like yeah. they're, It's so good. 
Yeah. It's not like a clean thing of them. It's them, like, this is them fighting, you know? Yeah. Zeal, the world, doing his world stance, what we were talking about. Yeah, that rhino horn right there. Yeah, that rhino horn, yeah, strength. Yeah. Oh, so, voila, Yamato gets his biggest power up and he unleashes all three um, instincts, which is funny. I didn't even think of that being a possibility until it happened because we've seen yeah. the world do it. Yeah. But when this happened, I popped off. I was like, yes, do it. Yeah, yeah. You you think you would probably see that coming because you can kind of figure out these shows. I mean, they're not yeah. super, can, can be complex, but most of the time they're not. Yeah. But yeah, you never just thought about it through the whole show. You know, like he has three, Miso has three. How about he combines them? But very last episode, he gets it. The the Earth gives him a uh, power, grounds him one less power to do it to give him that form. And he does it to the theme song of the show. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's so good. Look at that. I like that. He, I love that they kept Gorilla's body. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. obviously that's what stands out about Gorilla, but still, uh, they're really really cool. Eagle's helmet and wings with the with the body of a uh, with the suit of a uh, whale. Whale and the cannon. In the cannon, in the yeah. arms and the packs of uh, <laughs> the of a gorilla, the monkey, and Miso being Miso right here. His uh, first, yeah, his first coming is uh, he like that's like he, he least all three. Like he wants to Miso wants to feel special, and when he doesn't feel special, he gets really sad. And I get that to a certain point, but it's like it's part of his thing. Even at the very end to the episode, someone did something that he couldn't do or he could do that made him feel special and He's he, not the only one. He's not the only one. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Which is Miso's character. Um it's, Yeah, go ahead. Oh, just the the whole their final um, attack they used to defeat them. Really nice, really good shot with all of them. Looks like they're all combining their energies. Mm-hmm. And this is planet Earth, right here. Because the whole season, it's sort of sails being injected into the Earth. That's like mm-hmm. a lot of it. And it this last episode, the Earth is finally rejecting Genesis. Mm-hmm. Um, so it was felt very appropriate for their final shot to be. Here's the earth, bitch. Like, here, this is what we are, this is what we do. You're out of here. Fuck you. And then they shoot it at Genesis, and this that's finally the end of it. Yeah, like they say before every fight, don't mess with this planet. Mm-hmm. And the last shot is the planet coming to attack him. Yeah. <laughs> Which is uh, manifested by them. Uh, obviously, they use the earth's energy, I'm going to guess. Yeah. They combine to this uh, shot. Um, and there he is. There he is, just the uh, wild toss. I don't think a king do. Oh, yeah. Uh, we never. I love the mech entrance. I like the Tarzan uh, film. Yeah. Uh-huh. It, the oh. Yeah. Like, every, oh, man. It's just cool. That, that's just a really good decision. That's how the mech sound, the mech, the, the changer sounds too. Mm hmm. Eagle. Oh, the uh you still need to get that gun i do or that gun the the changer changer the cube yeah uh mm-hmm. i just i really like whenever we see shots of the people on the mech mm-hmm. i think it looks really cool it makes it feel more real yeah i know what you mean i mean he's part of the team too they couldn't do it without him like yeah. they, these are the mechs are kind of like uh you know a suit um well, obviously he's a suit actor too but like you know you can't do it without the big mech yeah it's big their their best power source is the mechs always in sentai it's their strongest thing mm-hmm. they can offer is the mech yeah at most times so yeah this is good like man we did it and he did it you know the wild yeah. toss <laughs> king did it too <laughs> they look cool yeah that's nice yeah it's a good shot them looking out just on the horizon they did it yeah they they beat the baddie and so this is... it yeah it's ending with uh, the soldiers having to leave they got all the cubes back so they're gonna fix the link cube and they're gonna go back home but instead uh zooland and earth combine so this is really interesting uh the show actually ends with the human world and the zooland world being one 
Mm-hmm. What did you think of that? Uh, I think that's an appropriate uh, ending. Uh, I know people like bittersweet endings and like <laughs> everything's good at the end. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons people like Time Ranger, if you ever get a chance to watch that or if anybody out there gets a chance to watch that, it's a bittersweet kind of ending. I'm not yeah. going to ruin it. But no, it's no, just yeah. it's bittersweet. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it makes sense because their world was one at at a point, and um, yeah, their, their their worlds did start from Earth, and then they branched out to make their own thing because Earth gave them the power to make their own land. Mm-hmm. So with Azel uh, not being there, and you know, Azul. no threat, as all as all as all who is the Zoo Man's main enemy, yeah. it was there to kill them. Maybe they were first before human beings walked to Earth. Who knows? Yeah. Uh but it doesn't really go into that depth. Hmm. But we only can imagine. But yeah, I I like the uh it, it fits. It fits what Yamato was wanting. Yeah. To uh, everything to be connected. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure he probably didn't want a bridge. Uh you know, it makes the place better for Larry so he won't get shot again. <laughs> <laughs> they probably still will shoot him cuz he's saying hola. Now let me stop. <laughs> uh, uh but um he uh i like the ending uh everything's everything's good uh, i mean the cubes popping out <laughs> around the town i'm pretty sure that's gonna be weird but like like i said good ending for what the series is which is like i in anime terms i'll put it as like a slice of life uh yeah. kind of uh, an- uh anime like mm-hmm. this sentai feels like a slice of life like i said you could could you can relate more than like in other animes than you do to the, you know, the big, you can't relate to Dragon Ball Z. You know, it's cool. The action's nice. Like some of the Sentai's action's really nice, but you don't really can relate to the characters as yeah. much. Mm-hmm. And this one, it's so grounded. It's just like, uh, it's just a good, good, really, really good ending. His dad's huge. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Really huge dude. Uh, but yeah, ending was really great. It, it makes sense to me. Uh, everybody's getting closure. Yeah, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I took a picture of this because, um, this is Misao sort of accepting. Mm-hmm. He he did fulfill what he meant to do, and in this season. So again, we mentioned that throughout the whole season, he's sort of plagued by these three spirits, uh, in his head. Mm-hmm. Um, so here at the very end, they sort of fade away, and that sort of signifies that he's he's grown he's matured yeah. and he he now accepts what happened to him yeah and he right here he becomes like the ambassador yeah. kind of right yeah. of, mm-hmm. of him and that's i guess that's him making up for what he feels like the life he's stolen away because of him even though it's not his fault yeah to be so, so it's not just that person yeah but it looks like you said he got over it and he's making amends by being something that brings the zoo man and humans together in a loving way instead of like, you know, it was bought by like death yeah, <laughs> and yeah. another one for him. But yeah, really good ending for me. So really happy for him. And then Yamato being Yamato. Yamato comes across a hurt little kid who is also a pig. He helps her. And this is the final shot. He helped the kid and uh, everybody gets to go have a picnic together. They don't have to break up. They're all still friends. And Yeah. Yeah, it's a good ending to a a good series. A lot of things get done. Like I said, their personal enemies get defeated for each one. Um, Personal demons from uh, Misao. Uh, Yeah, just a good... Makes you... This season, I could just tell everybody out there who's listening uh, that this one will leave a smile on your face. And, like, you know, it's warm uh watching this kind of season um you know what i mean just makes you feel good and just seeing yamato and stuff will make you feel like just feel really nice yeah you know king old king older makes me feel like it's epicness mm-hmm. you know <laughs> it's just it compare epicness but like this like i said this is kind of like a slice of life kind of sentai and it's really 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 good and i liked it that it was my first true su- uh Super Sentai uh, season I watched. It was a really good introduction to the show. Yeah, you know, if I probably watch something super epic. I'll probably maybe I don't know. I I don't know for sure. I mean, these are all hypothetical things I'm thinking about. But like, maybe I would 
one everything oh they're all supposed to be epic you know yeah or they're all be like this so this is a really good starter season for anybody who wants to get into sentai out there uh i would say this it's a good place to start uh for anybody who's out there who's willing to give this uh these series these shows a shot my my favorite word when describing this season is comfy mm-hmm. Mm. this season to me feels extremely comfy um mm. there's a lot of it a lot of stuff that happens in it that just does like you're saying make you smile makes you feel good um mm-hmm. because it is sort of slice of life you do get these weird little offshoot episodes where uh i don't know leo and Amu have to do a sumo wrestling match or mm-hmm. um <clears throat> Sela uh is in a fight with a, a a ladies man he gives her a necklace uh oh, yeah. tusk has to uh work at a bookstore because this yep. ornery old man doesn't want to sell books to to kids yep you get these like gentle little episodes with the zuo uh characters yes. um where you get to see like i said I, I i call them kids and i don't think that's that far-fetched they are there to help empathize with the kids who are watching the show so that if a kid mm-hmm. is you know see something on the tv that sort of they're experiencing in life they can see how they should approach it. Like the Halloween episode was also really cute mm-hmm. um, where a girl like falls in love with Tusk. Um, and then the, the, as the episode happens, Sela is such a badass that the girl actually falls in love with her instead. Yep. Um, it, it, and it's just, you know, kid, kid love, not actual. Yeah. 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 I know what you, yeah. Um, calm down. It's <laughs> But um, <laughs> it, it it's just, you know, like you were saying, Slice of Life, it is th- those kind of episodes that really makes this epi- this season shine. And while we yep. didn't cover any of them here, um, those are some of the, the better episodes because it does help show how Sentai can exist after these, in, in, at, this loca- in, at this situation, 40 years. Um, mm-hmm. They can still do stuff like that, and, 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 it, and it helps bring people in to watch them. Um, Side tangent: One of my absolute favorite episodes of uh, Zenkaiger is when the little girl makes her a little handmade doll. Oh uh, yeah! And she... <laughs> Sorry, and she yeah, that doll. <laughs> she calls up her friends to go have lunch, and they're all walking the sidewalks like without parents or anything. They're just walking around, and it's like just kids. That's one of my favorite. Anyway, um, it's just so funny. What are you doing? Anyway. <laughs> um like they're grown as adults they have their handbags and everything yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um this season for me feels comfy because it it all does feel grounded and it all at the end of the day their intention is always to make you feel good and i definitely felt that even when you get hard episodes like yamato having to see his mom get killed in front of him you see him grow through that um, when Misao has to deal with the trauma he has of those three animals that are inside of him, you see the the, the growth in there. You see this stuff throughout the season. So mm-hmm. this season does a really good job of dealing with these emotional aspects while also, you know, kicking ass and taking names. Um, That's one of the things I love about Sentai. It's really nice lessons, especially... And for any age, I mean, obviously for the kids, but yeah. even as an adult, you tend to forget certain things that you should be practicing. Yeah. And, and Sentai has a way of do it, teaching everybody, in this season especially, uh, teaching you lessons about just, you know, compassion, all this other stuff, while mixing in Kung Fu and bad fights, cool, uh, badass fights uh, for the show, for people who like action stuff, too. I mean, yeah. it doesn't all have to be action about the action, even though, like, you know, we love that stuff, too. Yeah. But, but man, the core of it is just, like, it's something it's supposed to teach. And I think this is, out of all shows I've seen with kids, this is probably one of the best shows, especially since it's not cartoon and you see real people up there mm-hmm. doing these things. Yeah. It, it just helps. And that's what, super, that's what Sentai is at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, I mean, y'all they want to sell the toys too, and obviously, but like it, I love how they throw the lessons in there for you to learn, especially in this season. You, like I said, you can relate. You can see everybody has a friend like Misao, you mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. who is probably down on themselves. Yeah, 
or you know, and then just other stuff. And 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 the Z Ultras too. Uh, like you said, them being kid like, it is a new world for them. Just yeah. like how for a kid, it's a new world. This is this life for them is yeah. new. Every day is a new so, day for a kid. Yes, exactly. So it's just like uh, this season hits on a lot of other um, hits on a lot of notes. You yeah. know, it might not have the best fights or something like that, but definitely some of the best lessons I uh, I see that that's that it's in the season. Yeah, I'd say maybe not the best mech, but yeah, maybe not the best mech either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it, <laughs> it still it still does what it's supposed to do. And again, I I really like this season a lot. Mm-hmm. I really do too. Yeah, and in terms of like its merchandise, probably not the best because you know, like you said, people don't tend to love the suits. Yeah. So maybe they won't buy the figures because they don't like the suits, right? They yeah. don't like the mech because it's so QB and it's different than other mechs. But like I said, for the show being the show, it's it's really, really, really good. Wait, I did get you some of the merch though. You have uh the little the I, final figures. Yes, I have the vinyl figures of of uh, Well and Gorilla, and I have a bigger Well. That's <laughs> right. So you don't have Eagle. I, have, I don't have Eagle. I need okay. Zuo Eagle. I have Well, but you know, uh, I love Eagle too. I mean, it's all Yamato, mm-hmm. so it, it's all good. Like I said, Yamato is one of my favorite uh, uh, Reds and mm-hmm. of, of all Sentai. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's hard. Like I said, it's hard to rate these things because you love Sentai for seasons for different yeah. reasons. Mm-hmm. The, it might be the theme that like you get it. You know, you like dinosaurs, right? Yeah. So like, I'm gonna love the ones I like dinosaurs almost automatically because it's a dinosaur theme. Yeah. Or you know, actors also play a role in this. You know, an mm-hmm. actor brings a certain presence to the show. Um, can do it. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, just you know, a Super yeah. Sentai. <laughs> he goes, it's all just, good. It's all good. It's, it's all good. Yeah. I always said this: there's no such thing as a bad Sentai to mm-hmm. me. There's no such thing. You can't say this is completely like dog duty. There's always a redeeming factor, uh, fa- um, factor in these shows. Yeah, that makes you keep on watching. Which why we're at forty, what forty six, S- seven, seven plus. 47. 47 plus yeah. and they plan to go to 50 i can't wait for that yeah. i'm pretty sure that's going to be crazy they're mm-hmm. going to go all out for the 50th that's a big mark in any for anybody doing anything for 50 yeah. years yeah uh, you know, especially a show shows come and go and for this show to keep going strong is it's, it's just a blessing you know yeah. it's really cool and you know that's where we make these kind of videos to hope you know you know, keep the show going, get more people into this stuff. It's really good stuff. And like, they really think these things out through for a kid's show. They put a lot of thought into it. Like, yeah, it's like the little, you start noticing after you watch so many, you start noticing the little things and the little things matter, you know? Oh, yeah. that's cause of that. Oh, they do this because of that. It's just really cool. Yeah. And zero is a really good, uh, Sentai. Can't wait to talk about other ones. <laughs> And why I love them for that reason. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do this again. Um, so I guess we kind of we spilled our our our, our emotions and thoughts on Duelger. Did you have any final last words or anything like that? Uh, don't mess with this planet. No. <laughs> um, no. Uh, um. Uh, yeah, I think we said it right. We said a lot, a yeah. lot. We got off topic about Duelger because just Sentai is. Like it says, uh, everything's connected. So, <laughs> like Yamato says, so you know, <laughs> we got to talk about the other ones. Uh, but yeah, um, if I just have to say to anybody who's watching, um, please check out Super Sentai, um, and um, please check out other seasons of Sentai. Soldiers is like a really good one. If you haven't seen Power Rangers, I know there's. Most of the probably people who listen to this know about Power Rangers maybe a little bit more just because that's we're in America. <laughs> yeah. And that's what was big. But um I mean Super Sentai hits like uh, they're very they're very passionate and you can see it in their uh, in the show. So like Joe's is really good. Like it says Slice of Life, uh comfy, it's like a rum glass of cocoa on a cold night. Yeah. You mean like yes. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that's all I pretty much have to say. You know what I mean? Yeah, if you're listening this long, I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much, everybody. Two hours. Thank you.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, uh, Mr. Nito, for coming for agreeing to come on. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you for I, having me. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to doing more of these. We're gonna get Tony on next time. Um, sure. But I, I knew Zeolger for me at least is very comfy, and I know it was your first one, so I thought it'd be a good mm-hmm. one to revisit real quick. Yeah, it is a good one to revisit, and I'm glad I got to rewatch some of those episodes. It just, like you said, it reminded me of uh, like these newer Sentais are out are not bad, but it's not the same formula. Yeah. As, uh, as older Sentais kind of follow kind of a certain formula. Like I said, mm-hmm. every Sentai in the core is the, is the same, mm-hmm. but there's a certain shift in soul for each one. And usually they kind of keep that uh, on, uh, but uh, yeah, uh, just good stuff. And Sentai is really, I'm really glad you introduced me to the Sentai stuff of things. Cause you know, me uh, being a Power Ranger fan since I was a young kid uh, really appreciates the origins of this stuff and like what it really means. Real quick, it, it wasn't like you kept up with Power Rangers into your adulthood. No, you, you I did. You got into this because of Sentai, right? Yes, I re got into this because of Sentai. Not to say that like uh, I thought at Power Rangers, like, oh, that's a kid show. It just stopped. It didn't hit. It doesn't yeah. hit like how Sentai hits me, mm-hmm. you know? They. I guess it's in terms of like story and stuff. The Japanese just know how to hit on certain stories. Not no offense to uh, any Power Ranger fans out there. Um, you know, if you love Power Rangers, you love it. You know, that's yeah. cool because you're still supporting. You know, Toei. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, just Sentai man, it, they know how. They just know how to hit the hit the heartstrings most of the times. And and um, I just like how they're they interpret like human beings and stuff like that it's just the acting it's the dialogue obviously the suits and all that stuff is the same so all that stuff is still cool yeah even if it's Power ranger form it's just just like they it's theirs and they know what they're doing with it not saying power rangers don't know how to do anything but uh it's just like you you'll see the difference you'll feel it if you love anime you're gonna love sentai uh there's i can't see how you cannot like it yeah well, thank you everybody for listening. Stay on this long. Um, thank you again, Nito. Uh, is there any way you? I know you're not really on social media, so I shouldn't really plug you, right? Do you want to? Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't really have any social medias. Maybe I'll get uh, get on them. I usually tend to try to stay away just for my own personal reasons. That's good. No, I could keep. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, okay. I would love, I would like it for you know to keep up with information of Sentai and certain things like that. But then you start seeing other stuff, and it just gets yeah. Uh, and I don't really. I'm not, I could yeah. be here to to filter that for you. I, 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 you don't have to get your social media. I got you. I got you. Yeah, yeah. But I would love to be on the show again, talking about uh, Sentai's. I I've, I've watched. I've seen a few. Uh, probably seen like thirteen, fourteen seasons, maybe, maybe nice. they're twelve. Yeah. Or, of, of this uh, series, uh, so I love the. I want to watch more of them and uh, I still need to catch up on uh, recent ones that pass and some in the past. Uh, I don't know about going back to the eighties or seventies. I might leave those alone. Uh, that, maybe eventually. eventually. Yeah, yeah. Probably eventually my long time, but that's not my priority right now. Yeah. Uh, to watch those. I want to watch. I, I still need to get catched up on a lot of other ones that are, are still recent, like Don brothers. I still need to finish. I haven't mm-hmm. seen real soldier or cure major all mm-hmm. the way. Uh, and I look forward to seeing all those and, um, we'll look forward to recording yeah. that. Yeah. We'll record them. And I would like to talk about, um, other stuff. I'm not uh, into other toy stuff as, as much like the common writers mm-hmm. or any other shows they produce. Uh, just Sentai has a special place because, oh, yeah. uh, like I said, growing up with power Rangers, it was just, it was really cool. It's also so sick. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys, everybody, for listening again. I'm Super Blast Tex. Thanks for uh, sticking around. Uh, we'll hear from you next time. All right. Uh, bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.